Nearly seven years ago, I played a Minecraft map where the entire thing took place in a 3x3x3 cube area. It was a pretty short one, but the concept stuck with me ever since, such that three years after that, I was excited to try out another similar one that instead took place in a 10x10x10 area, but didn't use relative teleportations to move the player around. Unfortunately, ever since, I haven't found any other maps that expand on the concept. Enter Canadian with a Ken. Back in 2022, after playing another couple awesome maps he built, I asked if he would have any interest in creating a new one for me to play that worked off this same confined cube idea. While he initially said yes, I didn't want to pressure him too much, so I didn't message often for updates. And after a year had passed, I sort of assumed the project had fallen to the wayside. Much to my surprise, last month Ken messaged saying the map was ready to go. I had just announced my intention to sunset Minecraft gameplay from this channel, and a map over a year in the making was now ready to go. Well, the Hardcore series is still going, which means, technically, Minecraft hasn't been retired yet. So here we go, with the most insane escape map of all time. Genuinely, I don't know how he came up with some of the things you're gonna see. This video is brought to you by my music channel, Marin Music. You're listening to my new track right now, playing in the background. We are officially rocking and rolling. Let's go. Oh, oh, okay. All right. The shell or intercom static. Hello, and welcome to the 3x3 series, our most advanced escape room yet. Don't worry about your safety. You won't have to. We'll be monitoring you live from behind this one-way glass for the entire session. Just give us a wave if you need a hint. In fact, I'll give you the first hint for free. Click on buttons. Let the escaping begin. Is this the one-way glass here? Uh, I'm being, I'm being watched. They're staring at me. Okay. I don't have anything. What am I supposed to do with the haste? I guess I break the button. That was the way to go. I forget about survival mode. There we go. You can break buttons, man. <laughs> That's a way easier way to do things. Okay, now I have another button. And because it's not adventure mode, we can place it anywhere. Oh, hey, there we go. What you got? All right, so we've learned if we button those blocks, that they will disappear. This is a this is a mechanic we should probably keep track of. Okay, we have a stone cutter. The question is, what do we do here? What should we turn it into? Or alternatively, I could potentially soft lock myself. <laughs> but if we need another button, hey, maybe the stone cutter is a red herring for this step, right? And instead we make this into a button. Hopefully not soft lock myself. Oh. Okay. Now, the thing is, right, I can't just button the black stone, so maybe this is where the stone cutter comes into play. But I also, I can polish the black stone, and, and then I can make a button out of that, right? I'm pretty sure there's polished black stone buttons, but not buttons of other varieties of black stone, but we need a button to be able to put down there. So I'm gonna go for it, and did I soft lock, or are we good? Oh my god, we're good, let's go, boys. That was very mean. That was very neat. Checkpoint! Ooh, the look on your face. Nothing to worry about, though. You won't be burning in lava today. Anytime you get more than four blocks away from the 3x3 three three chamber, the next level will start automatically. I don't care how you get out. An escape is an escape. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. Okay. If I just click the button, anything gonna happen? No. I assume we gotta... Can I fist break it? Okay, we can. I never remember, like, what buttons can actually be broken with, with a fist punch versus can't but anyway do I put it there or do I put it? I assume here right that opens up we have ice what am I gonna do with ice I don't know what I'm gonna do with ice maybe this just responds to any block placed on it no because we have to push the button for things to happen so what am I gonna do with ice should I retreat should I try to retrieve the barrel maybe oh there we go and then maybe here comes the soft lock here we go and then, come to me. Please, please come to me. Um, I'm gonna break the ice. 
I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm so dumb. It's obviously going to turn into water and not just break, and then it's going to come towards me, and then I'm going to get the other stuff. That was so silly. That was so dumb. Okay, but now the question is, how do I, what? Okay, so hold on. I can get into, uh, I can get into a swim in order to get back here, and I can totally drown myself, but I feel like there's some kind of, like, tricky thing that I can maybe do. Like, if I put the barrel over, yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh right, I just have to get three blocks away from the main room, and then we got it. Checkpoint, pretty good. These gates can be triggered directly by any power source. Feel free to experiment with the mechanics in this room. Redstone? More like blue stone. Okay. So, I guess if we do this, we do that, that lights it up. I can break this, though. So then, presumably, well, I could just do that, right? And that breaks. Should I not have done that because it deleted the, the power source on, <laughs> on the gate? But, okay, we have this. Which allows me to do... What? What is it that I want to do with those things there? And I see there's... Okay, there's another gate over there. But is this gate opened by getting a signal to that? I'm hoping I didn't frick this thing up by... Like, I should have... I don't know, wired the redstone on... No, I wouldn't have been able to do that. I think that lever directly on one of the blocks is the only way to do it. Can I, can I get any good views outside of the box? We gotta think outside of the box here. Can make a redstone torch. Right. Duh. What am I doing? I wasn't thinking about this because it's blue, but yeah, duh. Of course I was like, wait, is that a soul torch? No. It's a redstone torch. Okay. I'm gonna do this. I hope it wasn't a mistake. But this will send a signal and then open something else. I've made a mistake. Slash trigger <laughs> reset. Okay, cool. Oh, that's so nice. I, I love this. Okie dokie. And we do this as our one, right? And that, okay, that opens that up. And then, aha. Uh -huh. Oh God, wait a second. How am I gonna get a, wait, actually, will this place the pressure plate in here? It might. And then do I have to do like some kind of alley-oop and yeet this? It says four though. Why is that four? But hold on. If I do, that does work. And then I gotta go for the ultimate yeet. No, you idiot. You were right there. You just had to go a little further! God dang it! I'm also noticing some interesting stuff over there. There's a sign that says, Note the one-way glass. They cannot see you. Wow. But I can read the sign. Uh... I feel like there's gotta be... So three... It says this is three, though. Which is so weird. Right? If this is three then it almost seems like I should put this down first, and then this is four. But if I put that down, and then I put the pressure plate on top of it, there's no, I like, I can't trigger the pressure plate. So, I don't know how that would help me. Um, I, I like, I, I, it seems like putting the pressure plate down here would be the, the correct way to do things, but it is out of order of the numbers given. Why am I trying to yeet? Why am I trying to yeet when I can probably, can I do, I can't do that, but is there another, wait, can I reach? I'm thinking I can place the block down and then I can break it and as long as it's lined up properly, then I can, mm, but I can't reach. How do I reach? Wait, oh, yes! Come on, let's go. I have escaped. God dang it, he keeps catching me. Now, if you've been disappointed to lose your buttons and levers every time you use them, this chamber should pleasantly surprise you. Or would pleasantly surprise you. Haha. <laughs> Get it? Because wood buttons can be reused. Oh, that's so cool to... Oh, hi there. There's a... That's a pickaxe. I'm gonna grab that. Okay, so we got an iron pickaxe. I can presumably break the wood, which is exciting. I guess we get the item frame too. 
And, okay, so we got Birch Button. I mean, yeah, this doesn't allow me to do anything at the moment, but I'm sure it will later. So, that's a good hint. But, which one should I start with? That one. Okay, cool. We've got a candle? Wait, what does this do for us? I don't know what the candle... Oh, wait, we get the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just keep getting to use the button so we can keep unlocking all of them and see what it is that we get here. Okay, so soul sand. Soul sand, candle. Button enchantment table for efficiency one on each. And then the stone cutter, we can't stone... Wait. Uh -huh. Oh, wait, there's one more. Ha. Oh, that's why we have the pickaxe. It's all starting to make sense. That's... Starting to make less sense. Can I even do anything? I can't even do anything with this. What do, I, wait, what do you want from me? I can't... Oh, we can make the chiseled polished, though. Dude, I never make any of these fancy building blocks, and much less outside of the stone cutter, because I always remember to use the stone cutter when I need to do things. Even though now have I done the wrong thing? Maybe I've just totally done the wrong thing, because I still... What am I going to do with any of this? Is the idea that I, I need to, like, build up and get out that way? Like, I could just break the stone cutter... Now remember, can you break an enchantment table using... Maybe the whole idea here is we actually just have to get out. But we have to get out by being smart. Is there a way... Okay, here's the question, right? If we want to get out, is there a way that we can utilize some cheeky, like, stacking a half block on top of you know, something that, that then I can use the candle and I can jump from the candle onto the half block and then I can build the other blocks on top of it. Let's try, I guess we can always redo this, right? So, like, let's say I, no, 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 I want to jump from the candle. So if I were to do that, I think it's just figuring out an order here. And then if I, like, went on the candle, can I get on top of, no. <laughs> frick. Wait. <laughs> god dang it. Oh, god, frick. Um... Okay, I was thinking the stone cutter would have been my best shot here, but it is not. I just, I feel like I can use the candle to get on something, but maybe the three block ceiling height is messing me up here. Is it that I need to do like a shift jump in order for it to work? Or is it just not doable whatsoever? Because we need, we need to get three blocks out too. So it's like, how do I get like all the way up there using four blocks? Four blocks we have at our disposal. I don't even know if I could get on the stone cutter here if it would be the right way to do it. Mm. Okay, God. There's got to be some trick for me to get higher than I would normally expect to be able to. It has to be that. It has to be. Because otherwise, okay, if I just did like this, and then I did this, and then I did this, and it's probably the wrong order, but I did all this stuff, right? Like, and then I jump. I need to get, like, one block higher than this, and I think I'll be there. So I think that's the trick that we're trying to achieve here. So what block can I get onto with a little cheeky extra elevation from a candle? Is it is it the freaking enchantment table? Does that let me do it? Like, is that lower technically than it? Stone cutter? I would think the stone cutter has the lowest hitbox of all. It's like the one time I'm ever, like, actually excited that... Ow? What the heck? How did I... Wait. How did I just take damage there? Is that the trick? Somehow there's a... Like, because obviously Soul Sand's one pixel lower than other blocks, but... Like... <laughs> Somehow I started suffocating, and maybe that's the trick, although I don't know how to recreate it at all. Mmm... Hmm. Like these. And then I use the stone cutter here. All right, we do something like that. We break the block out from the bottom because the stone cutter is... Really? It's... I can't... Oh, so that's why the candle wouldn't even work because apparently this isn't viable. What the heck? Unless the idea is... Uh, maybe I can just get up if I use the candle. Hold on. I haven't tried this yet. Maybe, maybe the idea is I, I can just do this... And I'll be far enough. Anyway. Wait. No. Stop. Wrong thing. Oh. Okay. 
I was overthinking it. We didn't need all the blocks. <laughs> okay, uh, checkpoint. This next level is a lesson about sharing. Behind each window are two hoppers. One has items, the other one needs items. Get at least one item into the lower hopper to power open the next window. Okay, behind each window are hoppers. Oh, I see, so we got that there. One has items and the other needs items. Got it, so I can just retrieve this stuff as tempted as I am to eat it. I guess I won't. Get at least one item into the lower hopper to power open the next window. Okay, so like eat, that opens the next window. I'm assuming it's gonna get a little bit more difficult each, oh, okay, I see, I see. So we have to use some like tricky maneuvers, which is, is there a way that I can break the gravel maybe or break the cobweb? Um, I'm, I'm assuming that I, that's not gonna work. Yeah, yeah, um, Still works that way. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think about being able to break blocks. Okay, so now we have a wall in the way, but I'm sure there's something in here that can help us with that. Um, so the hopper is down there. Let's think. So we have the crossbow and we have the arrow, but once the arrow is is shot, it's just gonna stick there. It's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna try the cobweb thing. We might have to do a trigger reset here, but we'll see. I don't even know if it goes over the wall. <sighs> I think I've fricked it, but would it, if I, if I landed it on the, I'm just saying maybe, no, no, that didn't work. Okay. And then there's just a bunch of red herrings here. Oh, frick, do arrows just travel through cobwebs? Well, balls. I could put down the nether gold. I don't remember, maybe, actually, wait. Can you break nether gold with your fist and have it turn into nuggets? Or is it, does it still have to be a pickaxe? It still has to be a pickaxe. I, I was thinking because it shares a texture with the walls that, you know, this would be unbreakable, but obviously like there's no bedrock walls. So I just break the wall. Oh, I didn't think about doing that earlier. I could, I could land right. I could do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do the right. It's a moment where Ken is, is like, <laughs> God dang it, man. Okay, this required a hint from God, but um, I feel like an idiot because I literally, I literally had it and people were probably yelling. They were yelling. They're like, come on, man. You already put the, you, do, you were on the right track. Do that. You do that and then you just put something in there. Whichever one it, I don't know, which which one are you willing to take? Oh, I hold on, hold on, hold on. I can just do this. And then, oh, so dumb, so dumb. Ah, I actually thought I was gonna have to break the brewing stand there, not that it was just gonna absorb the glass bottle, but oh, that was stupid. I feel so stupid for that one. Okay, anyway, so what do we have now? All right, so we have ender chest. I can't just put it in the ender chest and break it because that's not going to work. That's cloud storage. Um, item is in the cloud at that point. Okay, do I have the ability to make anything? I have... I can make bone meal, right? Could I do something with the vines? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, God, if I if I think of the answer here, like, like instantaneously, bro, I'm going to be stoked. Although, can I even put vines here? Can I do that? I can't wait. Will it grow down? If I do that, no. Did I need to put it on the side? Did I need to put it on the side? I tried putting it on the hopper. You probably can't do it on the hopper. And now I'm gonna have to slash turker reset and do the whole thing over again. God dang it, how have I done this? Can you not, you can't bone meal vines. God dang it, wait, is it the glowberry? Can I put the, I can't. oh, wait, 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 wait. That's the way. Yeah, easy peasy. Wait, we did them all, right? Where's the, oh, I'm out. Oh, thank goodness. Even though I got one wrong, I didn't have to do a reset. Okay, which means I didn't have to do a reset the first time either. Anyway, uh, brilliant. You can drop an item into an empty hopper, but can you take items out of an 
empty hopper? Huh? That sounds like a magic trick uh, of some sort. What do you mean, can I take items out of it? Button in the head. Classic. Classic. Except I figured no one's gonna trick me with button in the head ever again. No one's gonna ever do that. Okay, so wait. Take items out of an empty hopper. That's confusing. What does that even mean? Maybe it'll make more sense once we're over here. Uh... Okay, so that's my exit. Um... Wait, so if I were to put the door... Oh, you little cheeky light gray stained glass panes, huh? Okay, okay, wait. Oh, there's got to be some way to get into a crawl here. I don't think I can make anything, right? There's nothing craftable here, but there is there a way for me to use the door to get into a crawl underneath this? Is there a way to like... Uh... Okay, this is gonna come down to some yeah, the question is like this doesn't this is just it's just a hopper that's holding inventory is my assumption here and everything else has to be done with the panes. But like is there is there a way that I can get myself pushed under with the help of a door? If I do Ah, there we go! I've never done that before, but it works. When I did the See what map that Ken had made. There was some like real cheeky getting into crawls, so I had a feeling it was something to do with that. All right, no notes this time. I want to see you solve this yourself. It's frog poo. All right, what do we get? Is the frog poo concealing anything? I guess not. Um, is there anywhere I can go with this? Okay, so we can get that. I don't think I can break this, right? And there's no, is there an opening here anywhere? There's no opening, it doesn't seem like. How the frick am I gonna get power into that? Nothing here. Do frog lights generate power in a way that I'm not in a, like, frogs have uh, redstone electrical poo? I don't think I can, I can't break this without a, oh, I can. There are a lot of things that I don't realize you can just break with your fist. Huh, okay. I still don't know how this really helps me. Perhaps, let's see, let's see. Maybe that's the way. Do that, and then... No! Let me in! Let me, can I grab it from here? Go, frick! Go. <laughs> I've written it off. All right, no, 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 I must be onto something. I've gotta be onto something with this, right? And then, come on! Let me, let me get this, go, go! Ah, oh, I'm in a crawl. Hey, I figured out how to get into a crawl at least. Yeah, that's gotta be worth something. Um. Oh, let's go! <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, that was so big. All right, there we go. Easy pe- wait. Okay, just- just get the chest, I guess? No! Wait. It's a way through. It is a way through. Was I not supposed to break the chest? But I- I just need to get up there, and- and then I will, like, if I'm up there, I'll be good. Oh no, wait, was the chest a way for me to be able to place the rail and minecart down, I wonder? Oh, I hope that's not it. Wait, or, hold on, but maybe I can still do it. Maybe it's still doable. Oh, I can do that, right? Okay, so never mind, we're fine. All I gotta do is that, presumably, and then... Balls. I can do this, though, right? And then, yeah, then we can get it down, and you and we good, we made... I made- It's not letting me make it! Why have you done this? How much further do you want- Wait, um, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, I bet you- Wait, 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 wait. Now that the- Now that it's up there, right? I can just get in this way, and then I can do that. And... Okay. Maybe. Wait, <laughs> frick. Oh, god, no. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, I had to get them all. Gotta catch all the blocks. There we go. For your own sake, F3 plus B will make this chamber much easier. Come to think of it, makes any escape room easier. It's just a neat tool all around. Anyway, you're halfway to the end. Pretty soon we'll meet up with you and... Don't lie to them. 
I'm just trying to record, or, uh, speak to the part. Oh, well, the order is out now. We're starting to close the airtight doors already. These voice lines aren't going to save them. But, uh, oh, so I got to escape this place, huh? I haven't been playing with F3 plus B this entire time. I feel so accomplished. That's pretty cool. Okay, so, I mean, we've got a lot of, uh, stoof. I can make sticks, but then nothing. Beetroot is wonky, so F3B, huh? Is there an armor stand somewhere I'm gonna find here? Got the crafting table is probably gonna be used for something, right? Um, I can't, I can't break these. If I were to break this, would it just fall and be doomed? I would collect it. That's good. That's probably the last one that I'm able to collect. So I wonder if the play is like I actually have to get in there somehow and then I have to walk over and that's that's my exit. So the question is how the heck do I get behind a like three pixel gap without an ender pearl? Um, okay, if I break this. Yeah, it's fricked. Because I was thinking, oh, maybe there's like something uh there's a create encased fan over there because we're definitely playing with green installed um and it would push it over here and then i'd be able to collect it but that doesn't seem to be the case so um is there a way to like can you get on if i'm standing here can i even put a block over my head no no i cannot do that um i'm almost thinking of using the the tricky maneuver where like servers combine items in order to grab more like if I were to do this right maybe and then no that's it's got to be through to the other side but I'm going to be in a place where I'm going to uh, pick it up break you first and then we break you and then we let the items merge I got I went I got two of them I got two of them. I don't know if this helps me out, but I don't think I can repeat the process with this one here. I think it's too far away. But does this this allows me to make a carpet? Ah, oh, God, does that help me in some way, shape, or form making carpets? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try doing this. I feel like it's, it's a mistake, but like I'm not. Oh, God, wait, why did it merge to the back? Is it luck when they is it luck when they merge like a random? if they go to the front or the back or the first or the second broken. I don't know if it's actually just complete dumb luck. It was though, that first, that second, and then it went to the back one. Why did it go to the back one? Why was it an idiot? Maybe it is pure dumb luck, which one it decides to merge to. Merge to the front. It didn't merge! Oh my god, this is incredibly unreliable. <laughs> but holy frick, it's just in cape! Holy heck. Okay, worth that time. Now we just have to go, we have to go two for two here, folks. We gotta go two for two, and then we'll be good. Right? So that was back to front as well. And if we go back to front, and we get lucky. Maybe we can merge to the front, and then we can utilize... Wait. No, I need the I need the rear one, you freaking idiot. Okay, wait, 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 wait. But I can I can use one. I can use one. So maybe I can do that. Nudge it forward a little bit. Yes. Yes. And this is not luck based. And then we use the barrel. We nudge it forward. I got it! Oh my god. I freaking got I could have just used the craft. No, but we wouldn't want to use the crafting table. That would be a mistake. I think I did it right. I think I did it right. Yes. Now we do this. And we do this, and we make, I think I've got it. Oh, that was infuriating, but we are out here. We are out here indeed, and we got ourselves a bed, and we can put the bed down, and then we make it. <sighs> Come on, let's go, let's go. I'm out of here. Okay, sorry about that. We'd like to remind you that you're still being monitored by real people. Someone just barged into the studio. I mean, the not studio. You're doing great. You coming or not? I am actually being monitored by a real person. God. Canadian. I'm being monitored. Okay, so we need to get out of there. Cool, cool, cool. So we can break that. We can get it. We can, man, we can do the thing. We can get the button. We can clear that. Cool. Oh, hello, Mr. Snowman. Wait, there's a button. Is that a button behind there? Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, it's a crafting table. 
So just like a teeny tiny sliver of a hit. Oh, a teeny tiny sliver of a hitbox we can do if we need it. Okay, but there must be some... Oh, wait, teeny tiny sliver of a barrel? Yeah, another right shovel. Piston. I feel like I'm on a roll today, boys. And then, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I can get infinity snow here, right? I just need to make sure I don't accidentally kill Bob. This is his name, Bob. Okay, cool. So, snow. Great. Good, 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 good. So we can do this, right? We can make some snow block arenos, and then we can use the crafting table. We can make some snow layers. And then somehow the piston comes into play here is the question. How does the piston come into play? Okay, we got that, and then boom. We got some snow layers, so hold on just a minute. We have the button. We have the piston. If I just do this, though, can it, like... Oh, right, I'm not going to be able to do that. Wait. Um, but I can't put the piston up here and then crunch myself, because then I'll, I'll be in a crawl there. Is there a way for me to maintain the crawl? That's the question. Maybe there is a way for me to get... Like, I do this, and then it maintains the crawl? <laughs> what if I'm just, like, over-making the, the process here? Um... No, that's not gonna work. What am I doing? That's not gonna work. And we got yeah that, and then and then the question is, do I do I piston here? And I piston there, and then does it does it work? Does it work? Okay, right, here we go. God, it's a crouch. Um. Okay, one more. Because I don't think I can't put any snow layers up there. I'm in a crouch. Frick. My concern is that the level at which I maintain a crawl is too high for me to actually, like, get into, right? Exactly. That's the problem. But I'm still in a crouch! Oh, my God. So. I had to fetch another hint here. Um, so, possibly, what we wish to do is utilize the piston arm pushing horizontally in order to allow me to go up a block because when the piston extends that's partial so we're not using a partial snow layer because that's impossible but that's going to count even though i'll be in a crawl underneath it i can still possibly get on to the upper part over here maybe so like maybe like this because i can't okay no i can still crouch there so it needs to be higher than a crouch but Possibly if wait if we do oh okay wait I have to be over more I have to be over more and then oh my god Well it turns out that the contraption is a much simpler snow setup than I had anticipated um Oh my god dude I didn't realize that it would actually consider a different elevation on the arm of the piston versus the edge of the piston Oh jeez Oh god I feel so dumb, it's so obvious now. But dang it! I wish I'd... Oh, I wish I didn't have to have it there. Okay, okay, okay. Look, I'll give up the act. I have to get these last lines done quickly, and I reckon I'm not convincing anyone. Hurry up! I'm aware, so listen, by the time you hear this, uh, this will, we, we will have evacuated years ago, so you're the last person left in the facility. Sorry for all the lying. I figured the emotional dread wouldn't make the puzzle solving any easier. You have to understand, it's important that you finish the 3x3 series. Our levitation system will safely pull you out of the 3x3 box and drop you into the debrief room. It's been less than 20 years. It should still function properly. Just follow the exit signs from here and hope for the best. There's not much more I can do to help, but you still have a chance to escape. Oh, God. Yeah, the voice lines were recorded years ago? What the heck, man? What do you have? What do you have? You traded diamond for target, daylight detector, skull catalyst, and ice. Oh my god, I gotta figure out which one I want? Which one is gonna do better at serving me with... I think if this is anything like uh, an iron door, I can break this with my fist. But it might not be like an iron door, and I'll have to find that out. Why can you not break iron trap doors with your fist, but you can break iron doors? And for a second, I felt smart about that, and now I have to reset. Oh, sorry, Mr. Villager. <laughs> Yikes. Um, well, dang it. Okay, okay, okay. So if we can apply a redstone signal, then we get a block underneath, and then we can flip up the trap door. I don't know if that actually does anything for us. Um, 
have to figure out which I have four options to choose from. Uh, um, so the, the target could presumably yeah. output a redstone signal, but I'd have to have something to, to go to it. The ice I can make water from and then uh, swim out and join my boy. I'm going to yeah. swim out and join my boy. I think that's the way to go, honestly. That's probably the way. Do that. Oh, okay, not this time? You let me break it into water before, but no, not here. Also, wait, actually, I do that. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I forgot about that. Oh, I'm so dumb. That was really yeah. stupid. Why did I do that? Well, now the blast furnace is done. I like how daylight detector was was my first instinct. And I don't I don't know about this here. I don't know about this. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um Oh god, I didn't want that to go there. I wanted it to go I wanted it to go here. Oh balls. I need to use the daylight detectors to get far out as well. That's probably the answer. Okay, okay. So if I do that, right, and then do a right click there, and then we do that. But then the problem is, hold on, if I do, okay, I can just place it on the ceiling. I'm going! I made it! <laughs> Just a little dive into the lava at the end and we win. Perfect. Okay. Well, thanks for the lever already. Oh, the lever's gone. All right. So we got observer blocks. What do I need to do with that? Do I have anything on me? I don't have anything on me. So somehow we need to create observations for the block to observe. Oh, there we go. Scaffolding. How nice. Okay. So, well, if I just do that. Oh, that's not going to work. I'm not allowed to. I can't tell if there's a barrier there. I think I'm actually, I think I'm, no, that's not working. Hold on. Can I reach out? No. Can I, oh, I guess the scaffolding does have to be on, on flat ground. Um, but then how would I like get it out, right? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. We just, that's all we needed to do, right? Well, now the question is, um, oh, okay. Now we got more stuff. I see. So every time that one of those disappears, we're going to get another blast furnace to work with. I'm assuming I can't retrieve those. I can try, though. Oh, I got them back! Did I just cheese? Wait, did I just, like, omega cheese? I might have just omega cheesed. No, don't go that way. Don't be a fool. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have just... Oh, there they go! Okay, not gonna get away with that one again. Uh, end rods. <laughs> uh, my apologies. Was I supposed to probably just stack the, uh, the things up? But, but, but anyway, now I could just, um, now I got a lot of blocks at my disposal here. Isn't this pretty cool? Um... What do you know? What do you think of that? Wait, should I just... Okay. I'll use the... I'm assuming that I was supposed to just do... That, probably, and then it would have been, there we go, fine. Fine, I won't continue to cheese. Now we must use the end rods somehow to our advantage, which I might have to do a reset anyway here because uh, how do I get this to, how do I get this to place up? Um, how do I get this to place up? And then, now we know what to do here. We do that, and then we do that, and then we do... Yeah, easy peasy. Whoa, okay. Lantern, mushroom, and a coral fan. Okay. Um. So we put the mushroom in the center. Place the lanterns to the side? No. Those have to be hanging, don't they? Or on a, I should say, on a, on a floor. They have to be on a floor. Did I just, did I just break it? I might have just messed it up. But if I, okay, I'm trying to think. With the one block area here, even if I put the mushroom in the center, and even if I could put the brain coral fans, like, on the walls, I don't know if they allow us to go on the walls. But I feel like this needs to be done with symmetry, right? So the, the mushroom has to go in the center. And then does this, that does go on the wall, right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it does actually, there's like a little... Teeny bitty vertical hitbox. Oh. Come on, gotta be on top, gotta be on top. 
Hey, let's go. Let's go. That works. Come on. Huge plays. Huge plays for us here. Checkpoint. Error. Audio file 12 out of 12 not found. Well, there's some corruption in the audio files. It's fine. We just need to get out, and hopefully it's not been 20 years. Okay. So what do we got here? Boom. Open exit. Down 15, 14. It's timed? A, uh, oh my god, anvil, red carpet, soul lantern. It's actually a speed run? Holy frick. Three, two, one. How do I open? I need to get something onto the pressure plate. Oh. Okay, so I get to keep the items. It just, ah, okay, okay, okay. So that's fine. That's fine. So we need to get stuff onto every single pressure plate. Presumably, are there any other things? Okay, so we get, we, we need to get stuff out to there. Um, and it closes up. I can put things down wherever I want. I must have to drop the anvil on something when it's painting. God dang it, man! Why are they gonna, why did, why did you have to time this thing? Okay, so A, B, C. But does that mean, so, okay, my assumption is that there's, these pressure plates must, like, unlock those so that whatever I decide to put in there can flow to the end pressure plate out there. So, A, if I, I just need to, like, get something onto that, but the question is, like, wait, I can't break, I can't break it? What do you mean I can't break it? What do you mean I can't break the thing? If I do, let's say this, right? Put that on B. And then what we do is we, we do that. Then the carpet has gone and found itself being an absolute buffoon and has not fallen into the gap in the center like an idiot, forcing me to have to do this again, which means I should probably do this as my first move so that when it fails, inevitably, I can just, although, maybe it's wrong, and that's not even the right way to do it, but I do that, okay, and then we put the anvil down there, and now you fall, it does fall into the center, which is good, which means, but then, I have to figure out how in the frick to do the others. Try to put this, uh, right, no, I can't put that there, because the pressure plate's in the way, the only place I can put that god dang thing is the frickin', the painting. Painting's the only one that can occupy the same spot, but how would I put a thing into there and have it not actually just get broken uh, or or evaporated, Thanos snapped? I know how to get that one with, with the anvil, at least. I don't know how to get it with the others. The problem is I don't know how to get any of the I can't even put the anvil down over there to be able to get that one if I wanted to get that one with the anvil. Okay, crazy idea, crazy idea. What if, what if, what if, what if, what if? Instead of placing that there, what if it with an entity instead of the Thanos snap happening because it's an entity with the painting? Maybe the painting goes into Oh my god, it spans both blocks and then when that Did it not break the painting? I swear to god, did it not break the painting? Oh it did! It did! And A is gone! I saw the block spawn and then the freaking painting was still on the wall and I was like, there's no way! Okay, okay, that, that's good. So, that, that's done something for us. Alright, but then the question is, how the frick do I do this one? Oh, I just don't, this one is crazy, bro. This one's actual insanity. I have an idea, oh, wait, 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 I, oh my god, I have a freaking idea. I have the craziest idea in the history of the universe. I have an, I have a freaking insane idea. No, ah! Oh! But I have time, I have time, I have time. Watch, 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 watch. I have to wait. I have to wait until the end. I have to have the hitbox. I have to have the hitbox. And then because there's going to be a block above the freaking thing, I'm going to be able to place it. It's going to attach to the top. And then the next time I'm going to, I hit the button, the thing is going to remove. Okay? Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Come on! Oh, this is so it. This is so it. This is so it. And then we can do, now C is going to disappear. Yes! Let's go, baby! Well, now the problem is, please go where you need to. Please go where you need to. You're such an idiot! Imagine! Imagine rolling out the red carpet. I did everything for you. I did everything for you and that's how you treat me? Oh my god! 
Go where you're supposed to! You're so stupid! That's probably why it's gonna behave badly next time, is because I'm calling it stupid, but I'm sorry, at this point it deserves it. Thank you! Oh, thank- wait, 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 wait. Wait, I could do- hold on, I could speed run the frick out of this, hold on. Oh, did I just get that? I think I just got that, bro. And then wait, 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 wait. Double- the double disappearance? The double disappearance? Come on! Wait, where did I- Oh, let's go! Hello! So good to see you guys. Thank you for participating. Please wait for our automated system to extract you from the cha levitation system. Malfunctioned. Oh, it's been more than 20 years. Oh God, it's been more than 20 years being taunted here. They're waving at me, welcoming me back instead of bidding me farewell. There's a lever. Really? I thought that would do something. I thought that would let me out at least or something like that. Oh, is that a bed over there? Wait, 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 wait. Ooh. Oh, the bed is too far away. No. I've dealt with this so many times in survival, but I never thought it would mess me up here. Oh, I made it. I actually have no idea what I'm looking at right now. Whoa. Hey, this is like much bigger than three by three. Did we just graduate to a larger size here or something like that? F3B. Thanks for reminding me. Um, I guess, okay, so we can delete some stuff in here. Wait, am I supposed to delete the armor stands? Oh no, I've killed Watto. Oh, I've killed Ken and I've, Killed Cory here that you guys can survive. Oh god, I don't actually know if I like need the stuff though. Wait, can I collect that? Okay, I can collect all this stuff. I can get the lingering water bottle, which helps me and I don't know how. And a lever. How am I getting out here? Uh oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I can just walk through. It's because they're just Freaking tile entities! Oh my god, why didn't I try that? Oh, I'm so stupid, I was staring at it the whole time! Open sesame! Oh hey, it's chapter two! Oh, that was dumb. That was big dumb. Wow, this is significantly larger than a 3x3 three three area. Well, at least I've still got the bed on me in case things- Oh my god, wait, do I have to get over there? Oh my god, where am I going? This place just turned into... craziness. Wait, I'm supposed to go up? Up, you say? What if my lingering water bottle has fricked me up and I was supposed to keep hold of it? Let's try the other direction. Maybe I can retrieve something over here that'll help me in my journey. Uh, no. And then, you no, stop telling me my, my bed is too far away. I gotta get the hitbox perfect or something, or I just fricked myself. I needed to get the player heads. All right, thank you, give me your heads. Give me your heads, thanks so much. All right. Let's try that again. I suppose I actually could have just run back through here and grabbed him. But, yeah. Anyway, so, uppies, right? But the big question is, I, like, it seems like I'm probably going to have to leave a head behind. Because if the bed is too far away, no matter what here, then... All right. I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I bid farewell to your head. No, the bed cannot still to be too far away. You're kidding me. It can't. I'm gonna have to use another head. R.I.P. Watto. R.I.P. What? It's still too far away? This is crazy. All right, Ken. You're up. Okay, so that's kind of, that's kind of messed up. I had to leave them all behind. I mean, to be fair, they weren't joining me anyway, but um, what does that say? Thank you for choosing to participate in our involuntary test track today. Well, I can't even involuntarily participate voluntarily because I can't get through the door. So what do you want from me? Wait, oh, I'm supposed to probably go. Yeah, there, you gotta make a little bit of a parkour jump ski over here and, and um, okay, well, well, let's hope I still didn't need one of the heads because if I did, and the whole thing was like, I gotta get back up here again, then that's gonna be a problem. Parkour! Okay, that wasn't too bad of a parkour. Oh god. 
Okay, I feel like I have to get the angle, like, just right here. Oh, n okay, made it in, made it in, made it in. Exit. Oh, hey. I made... You're literally just taunting me right now. Literally, you're just taunting me. Am oh wait oh hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on wait 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 I was about to do a trigger reset and I was like wait 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 maybe that's an idea I might not have messed up because maybe what happened here is I actually have to get back up there right and in order to do that I simply don't go off the edge thank goodness I simply maybe I did unlock something. Uh, oh, I just put it on top of the other. I was like, what happened there? Anyway, you... Okay. Did I open that up by any chance? No, I didn't? Okay, so in that case, the idea is I have to... Please don't go off. Please don't go off. I have to go back. This is allowing me to have the heads and still and be in the other place. Let me just check this area and see if nothing's changed over here. Um... There are some blinky lights. I don't know if those are supposed to signify anything. Bro, I have this I have this um pit of my stomach feeling that I'm going to end up having to go into like every room that I see here and it's going to be insane. Like we are in the first 5% of chapter 2. Like we're not even in we're not even in like you know, that's 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 chapter two. Once we graduate this area, that'll be chapter three. <laughs> like, is there a way for me to phase through here by any chance? No. If I like put the bed on the head, we get bed head. Then that's not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to sleep. Yeah, it's gonna say it's obstructed. So I was thinking, like, is there a way? I'm trying to think of ways that I can clip through here because I feel like the the next step has to be something to do with why the door is set up this way, and if it's not to do with how the door is set up this way, then fair play on creating an excellent red herring, I suppose. Ooh, uh, is there a way to, hold on, is there a way to, like, use this in order to get a head there? And then, oh, I mean, I could have just placed heads on heads and beds on beds and grab that, and then, does that do anything? Have I even done that? I'm losing track of what I've done. No, that doesn't work. Wait, uh, what if I... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know if the fact that the head wasn't perfectly centered made it so it didn't work as well, but gimme, gimme. Does that do anything? That doesn't do any... Holy... F if I put a sign... No, that doesn't work. Uh, I block it with a sign? No, but it, kind of, it put me out front, so it's like not gonna... That's not gonna work. Uh, what if I do another head there, and then I sleep, and then I sleep... No! Okay, switch the sign. Switch the sign, but now it's going to put me over where the sign is, isn't it? No, it did. Mm. Okay, what if I do that? You know, even more obstruction. Oh my god, I made it through. But I did lose the sign. I don't know if the sign is important for later, which is concerning to me that I might have wanted to keep that. Okay. All right, lava withdrawal gate A3. Need something to be able to put on there. No problemo. Insufficient items to con... Okay, okay, this time. This time, we are going to keep the sign where it is. I hope that this works. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so, I mean, that makes sense. We sacrifice all the heads there. And now... Oh, thank goodness. What a relief. It's amazing how quickly things go when you know the answer after having done it before. All right, I got nothing to go through there. We have got... a sneaky little man's over there. Hmm... How do get, is there a way to get across there? I feel like there's not a way to get across there currently. Obviously, we're going to need that trident. But let us continue along. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, so we need to... 
All right, I'm gonna have to jump down there. There's an arrow, thank you. Uh, yeet. It's gonna be really embarrassing if I just fail the parkour on one of these things, uh, or proceed to a part where I've gone too far. Caution, high voltage and moving parts ahead. Okay, I'm assuming the anvil is gonna come into play at some point. We're probably gonna have to break this and utilize it in order to do something. Maybe I need to break one of the glass here so that in the next part, I can access the end. Maybe the door is going to shut behind us, and then, well, I can break it from the other side as well, and then we'll have access to the anvil. Just something to remember. Also, though, actually, wait a second. This can give me, yeah, this can give me the pressure plates, which may come in handy too, which will be good in case we get locked in as well. Also, will the observer's trip, if I, anyway, whatever, high voltage and moving parts ahead. Oh. Maybe it don't get in there? Wait, no, it does say that there is something to do. And I am stuck down here. All right, let's try this. Uh, that didn't do much for me. Do I need to break the anvil, bring it all the way down? Do I need to rename something? My voltage and moving parts ahead. I should probably collect the sign too if we were collecting the sign previously. Um. Oh, maybe the idea is that if I bring this down, I can put something in front of the observer, which will cause an event to happen. The question is, what do I put there? Do I put a painting there? Do I put a sign? Put a sign there. And now does it open? Oh, God, please tell me that was the right thing to put there. I mean, it seems like it since we just got the sign there. So so using that seems good. I am going to have to do a reset. Heck, at least we hit a checkpoint. It's almost like I need to collect the anvil. Oh, it's almost like I need to collect the anvil. Wait a second. Grr! Does this work? Yeah, okay, now we're cooking with gas. It's what I'm talking about. All right, all right, all right. And now, here's the plan, here's the plan. We use the sign, right? There we go, and then... No. Yeah! Okay, now let's hope we haven't fricked it up some other way here. All right, so, we have... I mean, it is, it do be observing there, but the question is, did I, did I mess it up and I was like supposed to keep... Should I have used... Well, I suppose I can still use the light blue banner, but what can I do on the other side but also, hmm, hmm, what can I, that's what I don't know. I don't know how observers react to paintings, but also if I put a painting here and then I try to do, okay, so that's not gonna, I, I can test things out here, right? I can test how things will behave. So if I do that, the painting will exist further out. Okay, let's give this a try and see if the observer uh, reacts to the paint, even though that was probably balls. Wait, wait, no, no, you imbecile, you fool, you absolute fool, you dummy, and now I've lost, I've lost again. You know what? I also just realized, like, we got a, wait, there's a bunch of glass that been like running by, because I don't have beds, like I can't, I can't get through, although there's probably, Probably some unknown way that I can I can get into a crawl using I don't know a sign. Can't do that. I can't collect that. Yeah, that might that might help. That might be a good thing to have. That might help with the last room. Yeah, that almost that almost could be a good thing. That I've just so I've been doomed like every single time that I've gone in. I, I, I've been in a position where I'm incapable of getting through all three. Little did I know, little did I know. Man, just imagine if I had a bed here, just think of all the things that I could do with that bed and getting into like all these different areas. It would be just wonderful. Okay, so given that we have three signs now, like I'm pretty certain signs are the key to everything, right? So there, this, this, is, this is definitely the correct way then okay so that's open and now though i have to figure out so like i don't think i can do i can't do a, a ceiling sign but i've got to figure out okay let's test things out here before we put them to waste if i do that yes okay the sign does work there but we're still 
we're still low. We're still too low by one, which is really messed up. All right, question is, um, oh God, if I put down one of these pressure plates though, the, I wanted to test putting the heavyweighted pressure plate down on the ground and, and or actually isn't a great place to put it. Uh, frick. I wanted to test putting it down and seeing if I can put the banner on it. And then the banner will be floating one high up. Right, and then, well, here goes nothing. This is probably not gonna work. And then we'll have to reset again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 come on. Look at that. That is a beautiful line of stuff that's not meant to be floating, that's just floating. Oh, let's go, we make these. Okay, 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 okay. Well, uh, hmm. This seems like a place where I'm supposed to get into a crawl, you know, the, the huge. Just thinking, okay. jump into it, like maybe. Nope, it just hurts me. I don't get into a crawl. Dang it! What? Hold on. Oh, come on! Okay. All right, all right, all right. Everything's a crawl. Everything's a crawl. Wait, where is? I don't want to like get out and risk actually getting uh, fricked up and being stuck. So I'm trying to figure out where the observer would be located here. I'm, I'm assuming I could use this to get back into a crawl, but I'm still a little bit scared. Um, or maybe it's just parkour. Honestly, I'm going through. Maybe it's just parkour. Maybe the answer is actually back on the other side. Oh, it's that, there's that all the way up there with TNT on top of it. Oh my God. Okay, so maybe, maybe that's not the first step. First step isn't in there. Maybe the first step is breaking. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. That's why I couldn't get into the other place before is because like I wasn't allowed to break things. That doesn't count though. Okay, so, and these. Okay, so that all, that did actually run something. But what did it run? And then I can like still grab it back. Yeah, okay, cool. I feel like I actually like the first time around kinda, I kinda went hard, dude. I kinda went hard on getting through there without having the uh, the redstone lamp. I mean, it's kinda sick, honestly. Okay, so does this do anything when you, I'm assuming not, but I can, like I can get on top, but this doesn't, doesn't help me. Okay, so maybe the idea is I just needed to get in here, have all the redstone lamps, and then I can use these uh, in order to scale what I need to do here. So I can do that, and it'll just be about conservation of blocks here, right? And do that, and then we can get up here. It's gonna be... We can always go back down if we feel like we're missing something, but, uh, mm, okay, I have two more. Two more, and then we probably want to grab that. But, do I have the ability to observer block that thing from here? Okay, what I could do, like, is if I could, okay, I can reach that, and then the question is, can I reach the block above it? Because if I could reach the block above it, then I could put the pressure plate down on the wall, right? Oh, come on, man. Minimize the distance, minimize the distance. Or, I mean, actually, I suppose I could just, wait, wait, I think I saw it show up. I think I saw it show up. If I can just barely, barely hit the corner, come on. Oh, yep, there it is, there it is. Okay, do I risk it? Do I risk it for the biscuit? Okay, tell me that's right. Tell me it's right, tell me it's right, tell me it's right. Oh, well thank you. Okay, so that got that back. Doesn't necessarily help us with our current predicament, although I will, re I will be able to retrieve that, right? Okay, so I'm assuming like we actually just have to get up there, um, which seems like a tricky thing to accomplish. And now we only, we have one extra redstone lamp to facilitate that. 
don't think there's any other way to get up here. Right? Now we have two more, which will allow me to retrieve the top one up there. And then I can, like, try to... It's still not going to get me up there, though, is the problem. Oh, it gets me the observer! Oh! Wow, it's actually really good that I got there in time. Um... Okay, so I feel like I want to put the observer in a place where I know that I'm not going to be able to... Or I'm not going to have to, like... You know, re-put something. Because the observer I'm not going to be able to break. So we don't want it to be in a place that's going to obstruct my ability to redo this, right? So I'm thinking, like... I'm thinking we do it here. If we put the observer here... That'll be a good place. Okay, so that gets me up here. Um, but it does not get me into the next area, which... Okay. I just don't think there is a way that I could have used it, because I would have had to... Like, if I went there... That might actually, wait, is that actually the key? Wait, is that actually the key? Hold on, so if we do that, then the next block has to be one higher. Does that, okay, so if we did this, holy frick, this might actually be it. This may actually be it. And then we go, is that, that's an over, yep, that's an over three up one. Oh my god, that saves us a block. Oh my god, that saves us a block. This is a gnarly jump, though. Oh, but we get it first try, and we save a block. Huge maneuvers. Let's go. Let's go, dude. And now we've got what we need. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. And we're through. God, I'm going to be so bummed if I happen to forget something here. Please tell me I didn't forget something. But I do have the pressure plate, so I can access that. Let me just check that we didn't miss anything. All right. I am doing the Geronimo. Whew. Holy frick, wait, do I need to... I can break this. Hopefully I don't want a pickaxe or anything like that. What does that do for us? Hopefully nothing that messes any... Oh, wait, I can get... Th oh, God, was I supposed to... Wait, that did trip that. Oh, well, whatever, here, I'm just gonna do this. Uh... Wait, I'm back down. Oh, God! Wait a minute, wait. Oh, hold on. I need to retrieve all the blocks and then have those? Oh my god. You're crazy. Ah, this now I'm never going to get this jump. I'm on the clock though as well because like those items if I don't get through, well they they're fricked. They are they're fricked. That's going to be really sad. We got five minutes. We got five minutes. No pressure. Five minutes. No pressure. Did we get everything. I think we got everything. Cool. Um, there we go. Okay. So we're gonna have. We have to use one. Oh, I keep the pressure plate. Let's go. I have to use one, right? And then I think like there's no other way to do it. I've got to use. I've got to use that many. Um, but now, if I do this, oh, you, you're dumb. Oh, you're, am I just dumb? Was I just supposed to get back up? How do I get the TNT? Wait, that is, oh, frick, that wasn't the, the part that's facing the, that wasn't the face. That was not the face. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I don't know why I put that down when it's not the part that's the face. What, what am I supposed to do with this part here? I'm fricked. Okay, I'm about to um I'm about to risk a soft block here. And um I'm thinking maybe what if? What if we have something underneath here that can like uh conduct redstone and we can get the TNT to go kaboom if I just pressure plate down and then throw some throw some stuff on it. It's looking like a no. I don't I think that's gone now. I'm pretty sure that's gone. Pretty sure that's gone. Okay, what if it's just, what if it's just I'm being a, a total idiot here? What if I've just been a total idiot this entire time? All I needed to do was just to put the...
pressure plate there, and I'm going to use a painting instead because paintings are dumb and useless and frick actually wasting one of our redstone lamps. Okay, what if I just do this? Oh, I missed. Oh, it's all magnetizing. <laughs> we learned that it was a soft lock last time, having to use multiple paintings in the water bottle. So um, we're trying it. We're trying it uh, here instead and seeing how it works. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my God. All right, first try. Ken! Uh... <laughs> that has never happened. <laughs> I promise, that's never happened. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Give me the wall! <laughs> oh, okay, all right, I was never here. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. completely my fault. Oh man. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I gotta. I gotta figure out how do I get up there using the walls so that I have a redstone lamp. Okay. Here's my thought. Maybe I can just trigger the redstone with the with the wall, and I don't actually need to worry about what I was thinking of worrying about, which is, is having a full block. I can just get up there like this, do that, and then trip it off. I can trip it off anyway. It's a checkpoint. I have never been so excited for a checkpoint in my life. Oh, and that just brought us back to here. It brought us back to here with the sole difference being I now am in possession of a pressure plate that I can Presumably use if I'm able to get a crossover to there. Okay, so I, I do have another idea here. This is probably a great way for us to have to do a little reset. But, you know, since we're so close to the checkpoint, we've got nothing to lose. So I'm gonna do a little uh, I'm gonna do a little jumpy jump across, and then what we're gonna do is we are going to put the pressure plate down, and then we're gonna eat a painting onto it. And it's gonna open. And now I'm gonna grab the trident from my boy. And that has loyalty, so what is that? Does that allow us to like, does that allow us to trip things off? I wonder, that I don't know. Also, am I stuck here? No, I can't get back up. I hope I didn't need the painting though. But we can always redo this if we need to, and the painting was important for other reasons. Um, okay, so loyalty trident. I mean, I could use that in order to just like, he's invincible. Oh, it has durability, so I have to be... I gotta be careful about the uses, folks. Very, very careful. So, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I'm used to, like, observers, but is there something I can do with Trident in the room that was over here that I could, like, lava withdrawal gate? Does this do something? It doesn't. I mean, it takes redstone, but I was thinking... Maybe there's a way. If I put a pressure plate down there, though, it wouldn't affect that, because that's too, that's too far away. I don't even know if I could reach that, though. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Okay. Wait up. Is there, through one of these openings now, a place that I can throw the trident that would actually... Do tridents trigger observer blocks is another good question. We have a dropper component later. <laughs> Maybe. I'm gonna have to get all the way up there, somehow. How does this help me? Can it be used to do this? It can! There we go! God, I was looking at those pressure plates like so often, and somehow I just didn't make the connection. That's, that's silly. That's very silly. Meanwhile, over here, can I get over there? Emergency exit trigger B and A. So I need to light it? Can I light the trident on fire by throwing it into the lava and then illuminate the campfire with it? No. Is there a way that I can cause the path of travel back? Oh, I need to let, oh, wait, 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 wait. Here's the water bottle, here's the water bottle. Honestly, I didn't even know that that was a thing until I just made the connection. Okay, so can I make it go up and light it? Mmm. I 
feel like there's got to be a way... God, that I can get it on fire and move to a place where it's going to actually illuminate the campfire on the way up. Or, I mean, I could jump over there, maybe. Could jump over there. Let's see. Anyway. Yeet! This might have been a dumb idea, but... Oh, it doesn't do it either? No way. Oh, come on, man. Well, now I'm stuck. I don't know, like, does it have something to do with the painting? Do I have to, uh, light the painting on fire? And then that... allows me to... I do not know, man. Is there anything through the other side of here? It's just a button ready to go. It's a wooden button. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. That looks like it might help us out a bit. Okay. Okay. And we... Oh, Houston, we have a button. Um... Okay, but how is the button going to help us here? I don't think you can just button press a campfire in order to illuminate it. I don't think that works. I just uh, put the button up there, you know. Oh, uh, you barriered it! Wait. Wait a minute. I can just do this. And then, what does this do for me? Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. So, Lava Withdrawal Gate A3. I see. I need to... How do I get the button up there, though? I can... I can get this back by just breaking this underneath. It's going to go bye-bye, but I get... Oh, my God. I'm so... Why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think... Leave no item behind... And then I bet you what I can do is I can use the heavy-weighted pressure plate in order to get the button down. So, like, I bet I can reach here, right? And then I can... Yep, yep, yep. Tricky block placements, tricky block placements. And then... Yeah, look at that. Did I, did I hit? That didn't hit. Can you hit? It's not hitting. Can you please hit? There we go. Woo, come on, let's go. Okay. Oh, and then it is gonna do that. Oh, so I'm turning the lava actually on instead of off. Yo. You deleted my trident. Wait, that's so mean, what the heck? That is a five blocker. Exit that way. Oh, there is water down there. Um. Well, do I just Geronimo and hope for the best? <laughs> That may be what I do. That may be what I do. Let's hope we didn't leave anything behind. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Yeet! Dropper! Let's go! Alright, what am I doing? Oh, God. Is it a... Oh, God. Is it a water maze? Oh, no. Don't tell me I can drown here. Oh, anxiety. Oh, okay. We got an air hole. That's good. That's good. I didn't give myself full breath. One sec. And down we go. Oh, okay, it was like, is there a barrier block? Hold on. I have the inability to aim, so there we go. That's not what I'm looking for. Please don't drown, please don't drown, please don't drown. Underwater maze was not in my list of expectations. I have the painting! I have the final thing. <laughs> this is all I needed. Yeah, let's go! Chapter three, come on, we did it! Oh my goodness gracious, all right, welcome! to the frost escape room map. Give me, Ooh. cover me with diamonds. So if I break that, I'm not gonna collect it, but I might need this. Okay, okay. Frost walker and big fire prot. There is an armor stand, I'm being observed. He's looking at me, he's like, why are you breaking the glass? Stop breaking the glass. What does that say? Caution? Please do not obstruct vital water outlets. Ha! <laughs> There's irony in that sign. That's funny. Um. Okay, hold on. So I am swimming. Can I, like... I don't think I can do a... A swimming yeet into... 
two blocks across into that. Can I? Like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be exiting out of swim, like, long before I actually get there. Ideas have been formulated from the do not obstruct. What if I do this? No? Re wait, really? I thought that that would cause the water to go uh, do things and, and go elsewhere, but... Well, that's silly. That? Stupid water logging? Now, if I, if I put that there, I mean, it would stop the water. And it would turn it into ice down here completely. So we do have a source... It is, is it source blocks all around? I guess it is. That's what I needed to do. And now, now it's going to flow. Yep, 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 didn't think about that, didn't think about that, but that was the way. Also, I do have the range on that. Chamber one, open initiation gate upon entry. Subject should be, actually, just grab the book. Let me grab the book. Um, subject should be greeted and supplied with one pair of Frostwalker boots. Register trademark. Boots must pass demo test within one week prior to use in the Frost Escape Room map. Keep South Ledge frozen. Inform subject the Frostwalker boots can be activated by walking over a ledge between zero and one blocks above a water source. Okay, so there's like, there's a little bit of, um, got it, got it, got it. So chamber one is what we're at right now. And then chamber two will be in once I can get past this. If I put the sign down in the center, does it divert flow? Oh my God, it does divert the flow. Maybe just that little extra bit will be, that was exactly what I needed. That was dumb, that was dumb. Okay, 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 we're here. All right, how am I gonna, wait, can I just take off the frost walker boots? And then, so I feel like the, the solution here, right, is I just need to not, well, let me read the book, because it said chamber two, keep the south ledge frozen, inform the subject that the frost walker boots can be activated by walking over a ledge between zero and one blocks above a water source. Keep the south ledge frozen. But how do I, if I, if I mine the ice, unless I mine the ice, how do I get up there? I can't jump up there and the frost water, I'm gonna punch it. Oh, okay, got it. So I can. The book kind of just like scared me a little bit, made me think that actually I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, perfect, we're good to go there. And then this is just gonna be a little, little bit of, oh, that doesn't work. Um, oh dear, have I gotten myself stuck? <laughs> You're to turn on, man! You're supposed to turn on, please. Please turn on. Please, please turn on. Can I get back? Oh, dear. Am I an idiot? No, we made it. Okay. How? Okay, so it said, like, you can get standing between zero. Oh, wait. If, no, if I can get up here, though, it doesn't mean I can get up there. I don't think I can get up there. Is there anything on the other side of that? No, there isn't. But, wait. Oh, hold on. What if I use this? Yes, that causes the water to divert a little bit further, and then maybe I can actually get up there. Okay, perfect. And now, now it freezes. Let's go, let's go. And then, uh, I can, oh, I gotta jump to there, right? And then, yeah, there we go, and now, be easier to do it. Momentum. Yeet. Perfect. This must be chamber three. All right. We've got the end rod. The end rod. Um. Do not attempt to mine the ice. Okay. Understood. So you're saying that if I mine the ice, I lose and we'll have to reset. But hold on. If I if I attempt to mine the ice, and then it doesn't wait. That's not going to be it. Uh, that's not going to help. But if I do that, because I, I would think that, like, okay, so the idea would be put the end rod, break this, right, turn it into water, get the end rod up there, then I turn it back into ice, retrieve the end rod, then put the end rod on the other side, and I can use it to get up. What happens if I break the rules? <laughs> and I do mine the ice. Curiosity killed the cat. Yes, it did. 
Achievement get. Reset 50 times. <laughs> if I... If I... Put... Wait. What does it melt it? And it... Okay, didn't realize the end rod would melt the ice in such a way where it actually does turn into water instead of me punching it with my fist where it does not turn into water. But this is great news. And now I'm going to put that there. And let's see, can I get on it or does it have to be one load? There we go. And then it turns into ice. That is so cool. Wow. Didn't think about that one. Okay, and then this. I should be able to make that jump. And I wasn't sprinting. Good lord. Uh, yeet. Okay, cool. Can I retrieve the end rod, though? That's the question. Do I need to actually have this with me? If I attach it to... Let me see. So, hold on. That is... It is an over three, but is an over three up one and a half possible? There's no way an over three up one and a half is possible. Except for the part where it looks like I do need the end rod here in order to be able to... Unless I can freeze from the side? No. That's just so that I can get back up if I fail. Okay, so do I actually... Are over three up one and a half jumps a possible thing? Just when I think I've figured it out, I know nothing. And I didn't figure it out. Okay. Oh my god. Come on, man. Okay, so we got this. Treat the end rod like... That really doesn't look like a jump I can do. That's like above eye level. The fact that this is not the solution and there's more that must be done is just classic. Um. Okay, well, there is a way to get back, so let me just double check if there's like a cheeky way to do things in here so that I can freeze stuff. Yeah, I'm... I'm not... I'm not seeing it. What the... I just ran over here and ran back and it turned into ice. I don't even know what I did. <laughs> was it this way? Was it the sign somehow? I mean... I genuinely don't know how this happened, but I'll take it. I guess I don't need the end rod. People are gonna be like, oh, what did you do? Some off camera? I swear to God, dude, I just looked the other way for a moment. I was like, I'm gonna think about this. Stop the recording. And then you turn around and it's ice. Okay. Hey, Ken. Why did it turn into ice when I wasn't looking? Um, yeah, so it's, um, I guess I can probably show up. It's a, you were crouched over the edge here for a moment. If oh, you're curious. really? Okay. Yeah. Cool. I love it when I accidentally solve things. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Oh, cool. I didn't frick myself up. I'm going to turn to the ice here, though. Um, okay, I got to get into... Oh, my God. How am I going to... Okay, so I got to get into... I got to get into a crawl here. Wait, if I take off the boots and I punch this, because it's a one-by-one, one, is it just going to break or is it going to turn into water? Have I already fricked it? Did I need to take off the boots before I got into this room? Is there a way to use the piston to get the water flow up? How would I do that? I have nothing that, even if I, is it going to be gone? Oh, it does go, okay, it goes back into water. I don't know what determines whether or not you punch it with your fist and it turns into water or it disappears. I got no idea if that's a vanilla thing or if that's some NBT thing with the block. But regardless, okay, so we've got water back. Okay, what does the book say about keep all water flowing initially all mechan oh wait no that was that must be the one that i just did was chamber four absolutely no instruction to be given to the subject hopefully they will discover that the ice is still relevant uh but you need to uh, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah, uh it, frick oh god will this work is there a way yeah okay cool I've honestly never pulled ice with a piston before. So, um, okay. But the question is now can I like freeze it again by like, if I do this, does it turn? Oh my God, this is interesting. 
But now I'm like in here. Uh, I did not mean to right click there. Um, does this, okay, that does work. This is so crazy, what? Uh, and then I like, I can stand on this, okay. Cool, and then we can inch this over? I get, um, but, okay, once we get like up though, the problem is, can wait, no, I can push myself up with a piston and I should be able to freeze it there, the issue is, can I get it any higher? Can I get it any higher? That Like, will it be enough if I get the water there? Will I be able to still be crouched and dive in? Or will we run into the issue in the first room? And is there a way to actually, like, soft lock this to where it has to be redone? Hope not, but anyway. Okay, and then we do that. This is clever as heck, though. This is clever as heck. Okay, so there, and then we just keep moving it, right? Um, so this will push. And that's so cool because it doesn't like, it doesn't retract it, right? Because obviously the, you know, it's freaking water. So now we can do that. Freeze it back into ice. I think I can just kind of, I can work with this. I can work with this, right? And freeze it again. And then go up. And now the question is, what to do? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I can use the water to get on and for, actually, no, this is fine, right? This is totally fine, because I can use the water, get on top there, freeze the ice, right? And then I can just push it where it needs to go. So it actually does, yeah, just like, easy, right? And then I can get through. Do I need the piston? I don't know if I need the piston, but... And... Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Get through there. There we go. Huge checkpoint. Come on! Needed the piston. Can you imagine if I had come through here and I hadn't taken the piston and the lever? That would have been very disappointing. That would have been very disappointing. Okay, ooh, pow pow snow. Do we still have the boots? We still have the boots. Do those somehow come into play here? It seems like we'd need leather. Let's see, does this? Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't work. Mm, it doesn't work too good. Okay, um, so, wait, does the edge of powdered snow still, oh yeah, it's still bad. Um, I was like, we are in 1.19, not 1.20, so perhaps the edge of the block won't count, it counts, it, it counts. Um. It's okay, all I gotta do is just... No, hardcore parkour doesn't work. Is there a chamber six here? Oh, a vital mechanic must be introduced. Jumping onto the very edge of powdered snow from it, from at least two meter drop will negate the effects of the snow? Huh? You say that. But... But... <laughs> But do you, do you mean that? So it, it must be a 1.19 thing though, maybe it, oh, it's just the very, very edge, got it. I really had to like, I had to triangulate it perfectly, but there we have it. Okay, well, hold up. Am I still, yeah, it's still gonna be a two meter drop. I feel like this is, um, this is definitely a one point, this is the furnace of usefulness. Um, I feel like this is definitely a 1.19. Thing that probably is the same mechanic as slime and um, and magma and soul sand and all that, and is now defunct. Um, I have to get into a crawl. How? How do I get into a crawl? I love it when I'm like peering down, like, oh, maybe I'll be able to see under if I bend my head down. Set powdered snow initial position one block higher than it needs to be, then teach the player to move it. Remember to provide two additional blocks. Urge subject to make maximum use of resources. One block higher than it needs to be. Teach player to move it. What do you mean? Move the powdered snow? I don't think you can just, you can't br break powdered snow. It just, it's gone. It just goes bye-bye. What do you mean, move it? 
Huh? I'm not familiar with this. Like, can I use powdered snow in order to get into a crawl to be able to get into there, but I have to move it in order to do that, and I don't know how to move it? Move it? I'd like to move it, move it. Please go. Wait a second. Holy frick, I have ideas. Holy frick, I have ideas, folks. Oh my god, I've, I have accumulated ideas. Wait a second. This is the ideas? Oh, I forgot we can backtrack. It is all about backtracking. Backtracking is the key. We've learned that we can move ice. Of course we can move powdered snow. Of course we can do that. Why wouldn't we be able to do that? There we go. That's more like it. That's what I'm talking about. Sure, it's kind of a devious process, but we can do it. Actually, wait a second. Wait a second. I don't need to do any of this. Wait, why am I? I don't need to, This is dumb. I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. All I need to do is... I just need to push this down, right? Remember it said place it one block higher than initially necessary, right? I, I just need to get across with a piston and I can crunch myself. I don't need the... I don't need this. I don't need the powdered snow to get into the crawl. I just need the piston to get into the crawl. And now I can get into the crawl. Ha ha. Okay. And wait. Uh, yep. And that's the wrong place. And yeet. Okay. Hmm. I probably need to retrieve this, don't I? That's my guess. I wish you wouldn't drop. Why Why did you drop there? You didn't need to drop there. That was really silly. Thank you. Please, give me, give me, thank you. Appreciate ya. Okay, uh, see who? I'm gonna start freezing. Help. Oh, cool, you can just jump up there. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, so, uh, where is it we are trying to get here? My assumption is we need to get there with, oh. Okay, so I, ooh. I need to bring that down one and then bring that up one and then jump off the piston. Oh, I probably need the piston in order to get there. And then do I need to get up there? Oh, oh, I bet you I gotta use, oh, God, don't tell me I need to piston the water. All the way over there. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, frick, no. Don't tell me I got a powdered snow in order to and bring them. I swear, if I have to just do pistons on everything across everywhere, it's going to be the most tedious thing I've ever experienced. Do not fill this room with water. Keep each powdered snow near their intended positions due to the daunting nature of chamber eight. Give subject verbal encouragement no less than every six minutes. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do that. And, um, that makes it a, okay, I can do one more. I can do one more, and then I might be able to actually make this work, potentially. Will that work? Let's try it. I will have the piston in doing this. Keep it near its original balls. <clears throat> Keep it near its original balls, please. Um... Yeet. Yeet. We did it. So it says, don't fill the room with water. <laughs> but, like, that must be used somehow. Actually, where am I trying to get to? Oh, okay. Um, I'm just trying to get over there. So, I mean, is it just a red herring? Okay. Well, you know what? Let me just, if I pull this up, I might need to pull that guy up. Up by... No, I can't, though, because I need the piston over there. Um, If I pull you up, then we are okay. So, in that case, if we just do another pull, then maybe it is that simple, hopefully. Alternatively, wait, do I not? Oh, I didn't actually need to. I could do a two block drop and then it's just an over three up one. So maybe I'll do that instead. Let me just pull it over here and then um, we'll try this. 
I can always move it if needed. Then I can do this. Okay. Cool. Let's try that. Who needs water checkpoints when we can parkour? But I might just be able to raise it by one anyway, so. Why were you like that? Okie doke, here we go. Boom, boom, and boom. Oh my God, what are you doing? All right, come on. There we go. Good if I stand under that. <laughs> okay. And then you, please do not leave me. Don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me. Thank you. And then... Um, I guess the question is, do I have to leave the piston behind? I may have to. Wait, can I even do... I'm a gigantic idiot. <laughs> so good to be out of there. So good to be out of there. Okay, I'm gonna go up now. Ah. Hey guys. You seem to have lost your heads. Is that because I took them last time? Oops. Sorry about that. That was kind of rude of me, I suppose. So you need me to get through there? You need me to get through onto into there, don't you? Is there anything on the other side? No, nothing particularly interesting. If I were to do this, that just keeps the water st Oh! I didn't realize even if it's not a source block, it will still freeze. Or maybe that was a source block. Aha, uh -huh. and then back to room one mechanics. I see you. I did not freaking let me break the sign. I didn't realize that this would work this way. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then we just bring the water a little bit further. And then we just bring the water a little bit further. WW. Okay. <laughs> the sign's like, I'm going to go now. Is that cool? Yes, it's fine. Hey, guys. Do you need uh, the boots? You want the boots? I don't know if I still need them. There you go. You're looking mighty fancy, Mr. Armerson. Maybe you. Ooh, you could have a fight amongst yourselves as to who gets to keep them, yeah? You know, beat each other up a little bit. Um, God, where did I end back up here? Okay, hold up. We've got, oh, you got more of these. Wait, I could, I could put the sign in there. Oh man, wait, 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 what do I do though? What do I do? What's the plan? Okay, that's all sealed, sealed. That's... Wait. I thought that was a daylight sensor, maybe, but no. Oh, goodness gracious, there's a lot of things that I have to consider here. Um, oh, I'm so worried that I'm gonna miss, like, now we're getting non-linear. Because I can run down here and open whatever this door is. I can put the sign here, but I don't know if I'm gonna lose the sign, that's gonna be really bad. Uh, let me just check what's going on down here. Okay, cool. Good. Wait. Is this where I was? Or do I have to get through? Are we still using the furnaces? <gasps> I know this place! <laughs> I've been here! It's the furnace of usefulness! You were actually very useful. You let me keep my piston. Thanks for that. That's so nice of you. I'm gonna do this. Wait. Or am I gonna do this? Hold on. Maybe I'm not gonna do this. Oh, I'm not gonna do this. I thought I was gonna do this. I thought I was so smart thinking that, that I could just do this, but it turns out I'm not! Would I have been able to grab a source block out of there if I... If I had broken it... Uh, would I have been able to grab that? Or is it not a source block? I just don't know how these boots work. This is a thing. I forgot that was a thing. Just had a freaking... I just remembered the like snow cone item. Oh my god, I just remembered that. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. I still can't reach that. And I can't really wait, can I do if I put this down, can I put the sign on top of it and then trigger the observer block or am I supposed to do it? I'm just gonna do this. Hopefully it will not be a lock. Do that and then Ah Oh we got a checkpoint, boys, let's go! What opened up? This is huge for us. Okay, I mean, wouldn't have given me the checkpoint unless we uh, didn't mess things up and we had the right item. Was the, there's no way that the TNT 
And uh, then the the skulk were just red herrings. There's no way. Why were they there then? Why were they there at all? God, dude, I totally forgot Minecraft powdered snow buckets, freaking snow cones. Anything I cover in a in a video, anything I cover in a in a snapshot video, I swear I just forget about it. Anyway, I should probably grab that. That's important. Um, <laughs> don't leave that there. I don't think I can retrieve the sign, but uh. Okay, so we can probably use our little powdered snow hop mechanic to get over this. Then we can just retrieve the thing after, yeah? Perfect. We just need to make sure that it's, you know, within the confines of the place. I wonder what those, uh, I wonder what these two divots are for, though, you know? Okay, what do we have over here? Oh, this is going to be a whole, like, powdered snow jump mechanic thing. A button must be forged from stained glass. I do love myself some glass buttons. Glass is very very well associated with redstone as we know okay what water slash lava gate execute override hold object on pedestal to force open all fluid gates warning please run through safety check of all gates first me safety <laughs> okay so the problem is like i place this down anywhere and i'm i'm just doo dude right there's nothing i can nothing i can do um, you know, question here, question. Okay, there's that there. What is up? Just lava. There's just lava everywhere. I might need to get back on there, because I'm wondering if I need to use this to get through that window, possibly. Like, can I use the powdered snow in order to, like, do that? No, I can't do that, can I? It's probably not the way that I'm supposed to get up there, but... This way, we can do that, and do this like, I don't know, right here. Dang it. Okay, so, what do we have going on here? Um, wait, there's a painting, why is there a painting on the ground? Oh god, am I on the clock here? Am I on the clock? Tell me I'm not on the clock. So I can break the bars with my fist, but like, is that gonna do anything? So, hold object on pedestal. When you say hold object on pedestal, do you just mean like that? Or, or is it, I keep forgetting to grab this behind me. If I put this on here, oh, all gates open. Not sure if this is a good thing or not, but, uh, okay, so now we, oh, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, got that. Let's see, I can't retrieve anything. If I break the painting, break the signs, I'm not going to be able to actually get them. Okay, gates open, gates closed, I see. I can't imagine there is a world in which I would actually be able to grab the water from here. Cause that would probably be like super OP, but I don't know. How do I make a button though? Okay, so I do that. Can I? Ah, it's barrier blocks. <laughs> it's like nope, not just gonna give you water. That that's not gonna happen. Um. Okay, so we have like lava. If I jump down from here though, I can't. I actually like can't get back. Can I? Okay, well, now I am uh, screwed, as far as I can tell, unless I can swim up the lava flow. Wait. Oh, hold on. I can swim up the lava flow. I have incredible regenerative abilities. <laughs> Don't know if this is cheesing things at the moment, but, uh... Hold on. Go. Get it, get it, get it! No! Oh. Oh, that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme! Give it to me! Why? <laughs> um. So that opened up, though. So, like, what can. I can't reach the source block! I want the source block. I want the source block. Gimme the source block. There's a. There a barrier there? This is ridiculous, man. I, uh. There. Yeah, okay, so the water, the water has come forth here, which is great. This is big news. This means I think I can break the TNT and it will come to me. 
Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Now that is the skulk just a red herring? Like I could put it here and I could just blow myself up and that the intrusive thoughts, they are very tempting. However, I don't know how that would help me forge a button. Um Okay, is there another place that I can trigger a redstone signal that that will cause things to be good. I can never remember, actually, if I just introduce TNT to lava, if it will go kaboom, or if it will not go kaboom. But even if it will go kaboom, where would I place it? I'm a little concerned that I was just like, if I put that there and it blows up, and then I'm, then I'm locked again, and I'm going to reset. And it's like, hmm, that's not going to be good. I put it there. <laughs> Ow! Ew, what do you want from me? I don't know what you want. Uh, is there like, okay, there's an arrow there. Is there a way to grab a source lava bucket if I, if I'm through there? Can I grab, a, is this a source bucket of lava? No, I can't do anything with you. Why do you point, it points to a block. This doesn't help. You're not helping me. There's nothing for me. Oh. oh, I just had to get the proper angle. You freak. Well, now, mm, I can't repeat what I, there we, okay, I have a lava bucket. That is so exciting. But that also, if I have a lava bucket, means that I can only do one at a time between the lava and, and the powdered snow. Okay, so I have put a stop to that. Wait, does that mean I like, wait, let me see, is there anything up there? Is there anything up there? Wait, 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 wait. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chuck this over in a corner or something like that. And see, is there, oh God, no, I can't check that out though, because the freaking gates are closed. Hold on. Uh, put this back. What the frick, what? Okay, after a, after a brief, after a brief hint, I just like, there's so, this is like the biggest free area that has existed in the map so far. Like everything so far has been confined to one chamber. So I'm like, okay, everything I need must be in here. This area just became gigantic. And I'm like, I don't know, when, when do I backtrack? Do I still backtrack? Yeah, yeah. I gotta utilize, I gotta use the water, don't I? I gotta utilize the water uh, and then blow it up. This, yeah, the sensor obviously like had to do with something. Um, yeah. Obviously, that should be fine. I don't think I need the powdered snow. I'm not used to dealing with so many tools. I like being severely restricted with what I'm able to put to use. Okay, God damn it. Let's try that again. Gates got to be open. I never remember what the distinction is between when you get cobblestone, when you get so water running over that. I'm pretty sure if I just like do this, we're going to end up getting obsidian, aren't I? Because it's going to be source lava meeting. I thought it was source water getting hit by flowing lava that makes stone, wasn't it? But I need, but I need stone, not cobblestone. Because I'm pretty sure if I just do, this is an easy soft lock moment. Because if I make the wrong thing, then I'm just doomed, aren't I? Because I think if I just put the lava down here. We're gonna get cobblestone, then I'm gonna blow up the cobblestone, and then I can't make a button out of the cobblestone unless there is a way to smelt it, which there actually is a way to smelt it in the furnace using the lava bucket, and then I will have the button. This works, actually. This works, now that I think about it. Oh, it's just so many steps, but it works. And then we get the cobble, okay. And then we go kablamo. And then we get that, and then we cook it, and now let him cook, let him cook. Here we go. Nope, not that. It's very annoying that you would go and do a thing like that. The furnace of usefulness, truly living up to its namesake. Okay. Give me that button, give me that button. I need a button, I need a button, I need a button. Okay, we still keep the bucket, and then we make ourselves a button that is finally forged. 
As the prophecy foretold, imagine I break my Frostwalker boots by going through too much lava around here. Okay, so we do this, we do this, get that, good, I have button, and I, did I do it, did I do it, did I do it? Oh, chapter four! He's only gone and done it! Oh my god. Uh, so, wow, alright, this is where we have to still keep using the powder. This is high stakes, isn't it? <laughs> this is very high stakes. Okay. No pressure, folks. No pressure. Got it. Okay, good. And then we can drop down here and be good, right? Whee! And into here, and hopefully I haven't left anything. Be wouldn't it be embarrassing if I left something behind that I didn't want to leave behind? That would be pretty embarrassing, wouldn't it? Um, This, on the other hand, is a... Is that simply a jump that I can make? I suppose I could do... Is that a... So no, that's a zero block gap, so that doesn't work. Powder Snow's not going to help me. I'm just going to die, so... Okay, just a jump that I can make. Okay, we have a little... I'm assuming it's just a... It's a little Powdered Snow course that we're dealing with here. And then what do we have over here? Um... Okay, hold on a minute. So if I were to... So if I were to put it down there... If I were to put it down there... In theory, that might be doable. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Don't mess up. Oh, he gets it. Let's go. Okay, so that opened... Oh, wait. That opened that up? Wait, why did I... I'm not entirely sure why I needed that to be opened up, but... Give me that. And what do we do? It's, it's a lot of high stakes jumps that we gotta do! I thought I was actually gonna fall on that one. Thank goodness we didn't. So, what does my, um... Oh, I see what the deal is. It, ah. So, it probably, it allows me to walk on the powdered snow so that I can get over there, presumably. Is this the part where I have to bid farewell to the carpet, though? It probably is, but not the powdered snow! Let me keep the powdered snow. And goodbye carpet. Okay. Well, let's hope we didn't need that carpet. Otherwise, um, we're doo dude. Man, this powdered snow mechanic is is really getting some mileage here. Holy heck! So we can do that. Can't do that. Um, this is one. Oh, it's got to be two blocks. It's got to be. It's got to be this, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, now we have some good building blocks, though, so that's good. But where do we need to get to? Do we? Don't tell me we need to get over there with three TNT. There's no way. There is no way. Hold on. Okay, with three building blocks. I mean, we saw the. Uh, so this gives. I guess this gives me a, the ability to create a snow jump wherever, right? Um, I could go back, but do I want to? I don't know if I want to go back. Because if I go back over there, then I'm just, I'm kind of screwed because I, oh, I'm going to lose a block every time. Okay, I'm just going to risk it. I'm just going to risk it. It's going to be so bad when I inevitably eventually fail one of these. Good thing that wasn't it or that would have been impeccable timing. All right. Uh, I got to just hope that we can now use the TNT in order to access, like, I could go up here. Is there an area? It does seem like there's an area up there. So, the question is, like, do I do I just build up? Because I could. Um, problem is I'm not going to be able to retrieve everything. But here goes nothing. RIP if that's wrong. Oh, hey. You do anything? You don't do anything. Wait a minute. I can't... Can I retrieve you with a fist punch? I don't think I can get you with a fist punch, can I? But I also have no way of, like, blowing up the TNT. I can retrieve two of the TNT. Maybe the third, if I'm lucky. Mm, I don't think I can get this with my fist. Um, But maybe I can, because we get the Blackstone button. Can I do this with my fist? God! Can I? Um, 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 
I guess I could use <laughs> use the pressure plate to blow up the TNT to blow the pressure plate up. Use the pressure plate to destroy itself, which is a which is a funky thing that I, I just hadn't really considered. Is there a way to like um if I do this, can I like <laughs> can I, no that doesn't like it um. Um, okay, okay. Uh, what is the way? Is there a way that I can use the snow block in order to... Oh, well, mm, wait. I think my... I think my brain has actually just completely shut down since the last chamber because that, that should be doable there. Yeah, that should be doable. As long as I don't fall. Yep, that's totally doable. And then I can kablammo. Okay, it's um, it's a rough time of it right now. <laughs> uh, oh god. Um. All right. So the question is, do I? Can I put this on the powdered snow? Does that work? No, I have to detonate another TNT for this, don't I? Because that's otherwise not gonna. Like, I don't want to get rid of the TNT, but I don't know that I have a choice here. Well, e Okay. Everything is good. We can detonate another one if we need to get through another wall. Um, or we can just leave it here. Maybe we have to just leave it here and, and go far away. Well, here goes nothing. All right. Yeah, I can't retrieve that. That's stuck there. Um, over here. Where else are we going? Uh, if I drop down there, am I doomed? Don't mess up! Oh, he doesn't mess up. Let's go. Watch me have just gotten into a place that was totally unnecessary and doesn't lead anywhere, and I, I've just... <laughs> I've just doomed myself because I can't actually get back up. Does this lead anywhere? No. No, it doesn't. Maybe I go all the way down here. Let's try it. Okay. Surely that's not the wrong way. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there is an opening over there. Oh, maybe this is correct. Thank you for highlighting it with a yellow edge. Oh my god. Have I made it to the place that I'm supposed to go? Just, I feel like every move I'm gonna make now is just like, nope. Restart it. Try again. Um, anything that I, okay, so we got another one of the, uh, got another one of the things where we probably have to initiate an observer somehow. What do we have over here? A gap. Okay, I can open that one up with just the pressure plate, so that's probably worth doing. And then I can't retrieve the pressure plate back, so let's hope that's the last use. It's a checkpoint! Hey! We've got white concrete powder. I don't think I can retrieve that back, but we can use the concrete powder in order to get up. So we have basically, like, two building blocks now, kind of? Oh. Hey, buddy. I feel like Oh, wait, do you... Put that down, man. You don't have to do it. Get Hand it over, and nobody has to get hurt. All right? Uh, so if I go in here, and then... Tilde. Hey. I don't want to have to... I don't want to have to punch this cute little dangerous snow fox. I really don't want to have to do that in order to get it a TNT so that I can re-pick up the 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 pressure plate. I, I'd rather not do that. Can I not do that? Can I elect uh, to to do something else instead perhaps? Like anything other. Maybe. Than slaying the fox. Because I like to not slay the fox. Can I can I tempt it into another item? Hey, hey, buddy, here, white carpet. Doesn't that look tempting? You should pick that up instead of the set of the TNT, right? Like, here, take that. Mmm, delicious. Why do you like the taste of gunpowder? It's not healthy for you. Is there anything under the ice? No. No, there's not. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We can, we can get along here. Yeah, we can get along. Um, maybe there's a way to, like, you know, is there a way to lure you out? Probably not a way to lure you out, is there? 
I had to guess. Like, you wanna you wanna get up in, get up on there? You wanna get up in the block? You wanna get up in the block? Yeah, you just get up on the block. Yeah, there we go. Well done, buddy. Now now we just you know move you move you over to there, and then and then you're gonna make it. I'm gonna freeze, and but it's gonna be great. And then watch, and then you can get up there. Oh my God! Yeah, let's go. You're doing you're doing a great job. I'm just trying to get you out. God, watch me get him out, and then he just yeets himself off the edge <laughs> of the map. The pain. The pain. It's so lucky that you just walk on powdered snow. You don't even need leather boots. You are leather boots, I guess. Okay. I feel like everything I'm doing right now is just completely unnecessary. But, um... Actually, what even am I... What are you... What am I doing? I don't know what I'm even doing here. Like... Oh, hey, he's sitting. Because, okay, now that he's on the top, though, like, does this even... I need you to... I need to go further over onto the thing. Now that he's up here, though, is there any... Even if I use that... No, that's just gonna fall, because it's concrete powder. So... I don't even know how to get him over, man! This is probably not the solution, because it'd be too likely he just goes off the edge. God dang it! Alright, um, ignore the magical shirt change. This definitely was all completed in one session, everybody. Ah! <sighs> Alright, buddy. How do I get you to drop the the TNT? Do you want do you want that instead? Is there a way that I can like okay, give him the powdered snow bucket? I can't get in here without using that because I can't jump off the powdered snow because I don't have a two block thing. So I have to I have to tempt you some other way, or maybe I don't have to tempt you. If I press tilde on my keyboard, do you magically help me beat the map? I'm pressing tilde on my keyboard right now and it's not doing anything, which is very unfortunate. So, okay, well, that begs the question then, is the next thing I have to do, like, mm, oh, you know what I bet it is. We need to eventually get the TNT back from tilde so that I can get the pressure plate so I can make it through the next door. So that will have to happen eventually is my assumption. But until then, is there something else? Can I get into a crawl somehow using powdered concrete? Like, I can make this fall on me, but I don't know that I can get myself into a crawl using it. And even more, the issue is, like, how do I get up there if I don't have a block to stand on? So, uh, I mean, I can get up here doing this, and then I have the concrete, and then I can also retrieve... Oh, wow. Huh. Okay, well, this is probably good. I feel like I feel like I'm on to something with having magically managed to collect the white carpet and getting up here. Cool, I'm not going to lose this because I feel like I'm not going to be able to recreate. It... Okay. There's got to be a way. It's always a crawl. When in doubt, crawl. I can figure out how. There's got to be a way that I can get into a crawl using these three items. I don't know how. I got no idea how, but there must be a way. There's some combination of how I can place these down that will allow me to... Oh, don't break that. That would be a soft lock, and then I'd have to do this again. Like, obviously, the white concrete, that'll fall on my head, but I get pushed out, right? It doesn't, doesn't help me in getting into a crawl. If I do that, then it just it breaks at the bottom, but that doesn't help me because I'm not, again, crawling. What if I, if I do it, like, into the powdered... No, that doesn't work either. Wait, hold on. If I am in the powdered snow and I drop this, then what happens? <laughs> it's what I'm talking about. It's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, progress. Progress is being made here today. I might not, I wonder if I don't actually need the white carpet. Like, did I, did I get a little sneaky? Oh, there we go. I, I just magically while I was changing my shirt, I also happened to learn that foxes get distracted with um, food. And that is when they will drop the item that is held in their mouth. Um, um, mm, is there, hold on, is there an observer that I can do? I'm pretty sure all the observey boys are pointing in ways that I cannot access right now. So that doesn't help me. How the frick do I get back? 
because I can, uh, I can get into a crawl, but then, but then I'm like not able to, not at the high points anymore. Like I'll be in a crawl, but I'll just be. Wait a minute, isn't that what I did last time? Isn't that? Oh God! Isn't that what I did last? Is that not what I did last time? Why can't I get into a crawl here? Oh, there we go. But the issue is now kind of, kind of fricked here. Uh, I sometimes forget, like, we are in survival, and I, I can break the things on the map. And the fact that nothing is getting triggered means that that observer is probably not necessary for anything. So, I can do this, perhaps. Go big brainiac, and then do the whole powdered snow thing here, and do that, and then probably get get the crawl. Yeah. Oh no, you little idiot. Um, that's not cool. Oh. Okay. Uh, everybody, it does work if if you just keep trying and don't let your dreams be dreams. Eventually, you can make the thing work. Oh. I was getting so down on myself. I was like, there's no other freaking way that I can do this. It's just not possible. Okay, there we go. Now, all right, buddy. Um, let's get you out of there in a way that is um, safe and good. Uh, how can I, is there a way that I can like get that thing to stay up and then... Well, anyway, I'm assuming the fact that there's a lead means I need you for other things in the future. But let's first uh, get get that TNT uh, out of there for you, buddy. Okay, you wanna you wanna go get that? Look, look, it's a sweet berry. Thank you. You're so cooperative. I hope that's very tasty. Now, okay, we're uh, we're going. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe I can just do this. And then I can do this, and then I can do this, and then we can have a, a nice, safer time. All right? And come on over! Okay. I'm straight up not having a good time right now. Oh, no, dude. Oh, come on, man. Oh, wait, I'm just going to have to do it this way, aren't I? I'm just going to have to get him up that way. And then... Hopefully I didn't need more sweet berries for more things in the future. Cause God dang it. Go get the other one. I can't I can't leave I can't leave anything on the ground around you. This is ridiculous. Go get the berry! Okay, I'm sorry, Tilda. Clearly you just don't wanna clearly you do not want to get out. So I won't take you from your beautiful cold snowy home. I'm just gonna use the TNT. I'm gonna get the pressure plate back. Then I don't have to worry about you eating it anymore. I gotta hope that I'm not soft locked because I didn't lose an extra berry and frick. Gimme. Ow. Thank you. All right, here we go again, folks. Here we go again. Um, okay. Huh, wait a minute. How would I, mm, wait, 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 wait. Can I just, can I use an item here? can't remember. Does a blackstone pressure plate get... I shouldn't have done that. It also doesn't get... I shouldn't have done that. I've made a terrible mis... Oh, there's a... There's another powdered snow over there. I've made a terrible mistake. Okay, so, um, right, we got another powdered snow, which, which, um... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Way, 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 okay, here's what we need to do. Here's what we need to do. We need to get our boy, we need to get our boy to trigger this, right? And so the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna put him down there, and then we're gonna put a powder snow, he floats up, we're gonna put a powder snow, he floats up, and then we're gonna put the blackstone pressure plate, which cannot be put up there. I thought I had a way. <laughs> Maybe I do, no, 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 I do, I do have a way. I just do it here, then I put down the white carpet on the floor. I put the white concrete powder on top of it. Yes. Okay, here's the, here's the play. We go boom. He's going to be there, right? Then you go boom, then he's up there. And then we go boom. And then we go boom. And then we go bada bing, bada boom. And then he's going to be up there. And then we're going to lead him. Yes, exactly how it's going to freaking go. C come on, man. Come on. Let's freaking go a bit. Let's freaking move on. A oh my God, this freaking guy. 
Um, okay, it's fine. Do that, and then we're gonna have to get this, but it's fine. I just move him over a little bit, right? Just a little bit. Is he on the? Is he on the next one? Okay, there we go. There we go. There, there we go. Okay, staying still. What a guy. What a what a guy. And then, boom. Oh, we did it. Let's go. Get out. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you know what? This is okay. God, he's a f no. Not like that. No. No. Oh, I have extra sweet berries. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. Um. Please do not drop that down below. For the love of God, whatever you do, do not drop that down below. Thank you. You. Oh God, we made it. Okay. Now. Oh, that was so stressful. That was so stressful thing. Holy frick. All right, bud. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Don't eat that berry too soon, please, for the love of God. Because if I never another item drop on the ground, I'm gonna be so sad. I should bring at least. Why am I? Why am I doing that? Hold on. Just bring one of these, because I'm not going to have to come back and reach the others, but, yeah. No, oh, he's already eating the berry? What the frick, Tilde? Do not fall off the edge. Do not be a dangly fox. Okay, so. You stay over here, okay? You you got to stay, stay over here. I'm going to push you into the corner, and then, and then you are going to stay. You're going to stay, and it, you are not going to move. You stay in the corner over, over there, okay? I am going to be back with things that are needed in order to in order to win. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Be fast, be fast. I swear to God, if he has jumped off the edge in this time that I have been gone, I am going to jump off the edge myself, and I will not be back. <sighs> so much running. Okay, boom. And then, boom, you stay. You stay up there. You stay, and now... Please, for the love of frick. How do I get you? No, go under the... Mm, I push, I push. Get onto the thing! Get onto the... Hold on, I can push him on... Yes! He's only gone and done it! Come on! Oh my god, do I still need you? Do I still need you? No! No! He ate the... So, okay. Give me this back, and then I guess we bid we bid farewell and hope everything is good. Um and and I'm not gonna drag you to your death even though you've caused me suffering. Um I'm gonna keep the lead, but otherwise I'll see you see you next time, buddy. There's nothing to do here. I'm assuming it's gotta be yeah, we bring it down to the edge and there's no way I'm there's no way I go down with both of them. There's just no way I get down with both of them, so Yeet! Hope for no soft block. He misses me already. <sighs> okay. And where are we now? Is this, I have a feeling that this is, yep, it's the other side of that room. But nah, oh. Oh. I'm just realizing, where did my uh concrete powder go? Okay, so, um, <laughs> it was just a thing where, where the concrete got cleared out of my inventory because I went backwards, so, um, we don't worry about that for now. There is, uh, let me see. So apparently I went, I went backwards, so maybe I'm supposed to go over there, and if that's the case, maybe I'm actually supposed to keep both of the powdered snow if I am able to... Can I, where's the furthest I can reach? I guess right a bit, right a bit there. Okay, let's grab the other one. Uh, I could do the little, I could do the classic powdered snow jump here. <sighs> yep, okay, easy game, easy life. And then, uh, okay, I guess, you know, we know how to do this now. So, cool. Hopefully this is where, well, okay, the fact that there is an iron bar here means that I feel like it's a good sign that it's probably where we're supposed to be going. So, am I crawling into there? Perhaps, maybe. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I can just do this and, and this and hope that I can retrieve the, well, I think I can, yeah, it'll, it'll give me both afterwards, right? We'll be good. Just do a little flag juggling here. Boop, thank you. 
Okay, we've entered a one block tall maze. Now, is this a place that I actually want to go? I'm, I'm really worried about... That's very tall. I suppose I can always get back into a crawl. So, okay, let me see. If we go over here, um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't necessarily anticipating uh, one block tall mazes here in this thing. Checkpoint, no way, let's go! This is so big. This is so big. Um, so we got a checkpoint. I'm gonna, can I, wait, if I just put this there, I can fall through and I can still have it. Sick! What the? Um, okay, 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 dokey, artichokey. So, um, hmm. Wow, I can't reach that. Okay, so, you know how we started and, and things, it was like three by three rooms. It's gotten a lot bigger than that, and it's numbered five, six, uh, four, uh, three. Uh, uh, wait, oh, no, 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 hold on a minute. This is, wait, these are the original chambers, aren't they? It is. Okay, so maybe I don't have to, like, solve these, but the ones that have barrels, do I actually want to, like, fetch... Do I, want, do I need to fetch the resources contained in them? This is why there's a blue ice track. Am I supposed to make a boat so I can go back and forth quicker? Do I need to go and access every single one of these and, and get the stuff that was in the barrels? Is that what actually has to happen here? Oh my god, hold on a minute. So, like, I can do... I can't really utilize the powder, um, alright, hold on, like, I can do a finicky, funky staircase here, right? Like, I can do, um, I could do this on the ground, and I can probably put this on top of it, and then I can stack these on top of here, and then I can access all this stuff, uh... Bro, I'm just gonna have, like, a stacked inventory of a bajillion things here with no idea really what to do with them and the possibility of messing up and having an item go off the edge, which will be really disappointing. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to get on top of any. Alright, so we've got... I mean, we've got... A, we do have a crafting table. I can't be meant to actually reach that. There's no way. There's no way, because if I actually reach that, then I wouldn't be able to, like, retrieve things, right? Oh, I am really zoomy if I just run on there instead of run jumping. Holy balls! Um, right. Almost pricked that one. Okay. Uh, so... There's no way I'm meant to reach that either. Might be able to jump from there. Okay, is the, is the thing that I'm just, like, I have to get up top here? Maybe? Okay, so if I... I'm hoping that's what I'm meant to do, and I'm not actually meant to, like, gain access to every single one of those chambers. Otherwise, that's crazy. There's no way. There's no way, right? Okay, so if we think right, we have we have the slabs, and I can use slabs to get up there, and I can retrieve them back. So the, the next question is how do we get up three blocks using everything else that we have in our inventory? And also, once we're up there, is that even where we're supposed to go? We could jump into there, and then we'd be able to get potentially... No, would we be able to reach that underneath? Can I break? That might be breakable, in which case I can access that. Uh, so we know that we can do that and and put the carpet on top, and then that leaves just... I need two more bits of elevation here. Um, so obviously this is also possible, and then I can, oh, if I put the anvil on top of this, hold on, if I put the anvil on top of that, and then I break this, then it should break because it's going to fall on the carpet, so I might actually be good here, I might actually be good, where does this lead, I can't be done with this area, this just has to, huh, 
Okay, before I get up here and get sidetracked, I don't know if there's anything I can re-grab from there. But we, uh, okay, stone cutter. Oh, I can just access the barrel. It gives me stone. And then I can stone cut into something, which I'm assuming I probably need to worry about later. I wanna get the carpet back, right? Yep, okay, that's good. That's very good. And then, oh wait, there's another barrel over there. Hold on, hold on. Um, So I can do, do that, do that, and then hopefully, yes, let's, oh, come on, boys, let's go. And then, just give me that, yup. And then, just gonna delete this. Right, right, right. I'm just hoping I don't lose the carpet on the way, because if I lose the carpet, it's like it's like losing a block, basically, anyway. Um, so if we do that, a carpet here. We just gotta... I mean, uh, also, it's like, uh, am I actually gonna collect the barrel here? Fingers crossed! Yo, let's go! Okay. Little luck involved in that. Little luck. And... Got it! Oh, come on. I love that that's reproducible. That's awesome. Okay, so now we've got um, a bunch of bonus blocks here to be able to do other things with. Like, I could I could build do another one if I wanted to, but I'd lose blocks in the process. So let's leave that stuff there. We're getting maximum blockage, and now let's see what we've got over here. Okay, there is barrel. I can, um, I can, ooh, I cannot get into crawl. Uh -oh. oh, but I can go back down and I can, instead of using the... Concrete powder, I can just use something else, right? If I want to get in there, and then I can get the powder and I can get into a crawl. Does this do anything for us? Does that do anything for us? No. I can't break these blocks. They're unbreakable, so that's not going to be anything. Um, what about... Oh, wait. <laughs> just kidding. There's a button. Great. I'm glad I didn't worry about that one. Thanks. We got the button back. Piercing, important notes, and a feather. Does this do anything? Does this do anything? Do I need a flint? Somehow, in order to get an arrow, and then I gotta do piercing. Holy frick. Oh, look at this. Three by three series. Oh, I missed the title. That's so cool. Let me destroy the map as I'm looking at the title. Some of it was three by three. It's much bigger now. All right, I need a flint. If I was a gravel, where would I be hiding? That's a good question. I do have so much stuff right now. Anyway, important notes. I'm writing this with low confidence that anyone will ever find this factory after the flood. If you're reading this, you found whatever is left from the largest escape room assembly production facility in the world. Not lying about that. <laughs> Most of our projects are certainly unsalvageable, but if you're one luck if but if not, you're one lucky archaeologist. I really don't have time to run down every little protocol needed to run this titan of a structure, but here's one security check you won't be able to bypass without my help. The N by N series can only be activated by a master switch completely sealed in bedrock end barriers for security purposes. Only three people are permitted to even know how to trigger it. But if you found this structure abandoned, we're all dead. So I'm writing the secret here. It's like an analog password. You only need to know one key feature. Piercing projectiles do not activate until they hit an entity. Once they do, they can phase through anything. It's that simple. We often use an item frame for this since it attaches to the wall. That's good, because I was thinking I was going to have to retrieve Tilde and shoot him. So I'm glad that that rules that out. Assuming all of the systems are working, once you hit the button, the teleportation sequence will start automatically. Good luck, and uh, don't hurt yourself. So I need an arrow. I need to find the location of said button completely sealed in bedrock. And, hmm, are these petrified? These are probably petrified, aren't they? I can't remember if in any of the earlier chambers I got given a crossbow, and I was, I was given a crossbow and arrow. It was the one where I had to do the hoppers. Okay, so I need to grab that somehow. Uh, which number? I'm gonna have to review the footage. Okay, it was the, I think it's number five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just go see if I can find this. Master, oh, it's gotta be down the, it's gotta be down the tunnel over there. It has to be down the tunnel over there because I wasn't seeing anything indicative uh, otherwise, so, okay. 
That is that one. Hold on, hold on. And that's oh, never mind. I don't know which. I don't remember which stage of the thing, and if there is even an access to it. Uh, or, God, what is going to be the way to get there? Hold on, man. Okay, so maybe I don't need to worry about keeping all these random building blocks, though. Once I have acquired the... Oh, wait, did I not go? I didn't go in here. Airtight observation deck. Uh, is there any, anything in here? Well, another block at least. I was wondering if we had a disc or something like that. I don't think we can harvest this by hand, right? I don't think. Airtight observation. This does seem like a place where you would potentially be able to trigger some sort of master lock or something like that, but I guess not. But I do know that we got blocks for days. Question is, where in the frick is the, where is this, like, master override switch thing? I don't know. Guess we can do our little technique of being able to get a little, a little higher up from the get-go. All right, and then we can put down the powdered snow, do the next one on top, and then do this. And now we're already a little bit... <gasps> Okay, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna, um, we're just, you know what, it might just, is it in the, if it's in this one, then, then, is it in, is in that one? I didn't need to do any of what I did, I could've just built up on the two barrels, it was, but I don't actually have an arrow, unless, oh, we have the gravel though, and I can make the arrow, so, I didn't even need to lose it, I didn't even need to lose it, I could just, oh my god, that was the dumbest loss of a block I have ever, ever done, ever, that was so stupid. That was so dumb. It was, a, of course, it was in the closest hopper. Ah! Okay. Let's get a flint. I keep forgetting to use the ice path. I keep forgetting to use the ice path. I'm so there we go. Thank you. Okay. So I'm assuming for the freaking piercing thing, though. It's like I only got one shot, one opportunity. Okay. Right, here we go. And uh oh, you cannot reach. You made this one a little bit uh, further away, huh? You made this one a little bit further away. Can I reach? I cannot reach this. Um, okay. I'm not, not super into this, but here we go. We do this, and now we can reach, and we can make arrow. Why do you say that I cannot make... Oh, it's because stick is called two. That's why I can't make an arrow. Um, I guess we have, we have four shots. We have four shots. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, but do not go off the edge. I repeat, please do not go off the edge. Oh, you wanted to. He wanted to so badly. You see him, he was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be free. A little sad that I lost one of my carpets, but at least we can still roll out the red carpet for ourselves. The next question is, so we don't have any levels. How am I gonna get level um Did one of these have a bottle of experience that I could use in order to get one level. Wait, how much? Probably more than one level, too. How much is it going to cost? Four levels? Four le Excuse me? I also am dumb and I fricked it up and now the anvil is not retrievable. Unless... Wait, wait, wait. Can I be... Can I be cheeky about it? Can I be cheeky about it? I can be cheeky about it. Let's go. <laughs> I feel like I I have to get through here somehow. I don't know how exactly. Do you want some music? Let's play some music here, folks. Maybe it'll get us in the mood. God dang, dude! And I can't I can't do the I can't do the powdered snow trickery. I am wondering like because I left the uh, I left the powdered snow down there. Maybe I should go and grab that just in case we need the extra plus the carpet. Okay, so you know what? I can just put the button here. Oh no, I can't, I can't click it. I cannot clicky. Okay, here's the, here's the deal. Here's the deal. A, yes, being a bit of a dingus forgetting about this a little bit, but also at the same time, I didn't really, even thinking about it, want to use in case I miss. And, but it might be the only way. I also though, like I could have just done the freaking could have done this and the pressure. I hope that I'm not 
gonna frick myself here and miss and also like I should have just done the pressure plate and yeet items thing, but Okay, it opened, but did it did it open the did it open the other access point? Like, can I get in there now? Is this open? No, it's not. Hold on. Does this work? Does this work? It does work. Okay. Okay. So I can do that. I can do that. I can do oh, that. Go away. Okay, hold on. Don't miss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss or it'll be really embarrassing if you miss. Got it! Okay, 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 okay. Here we- Oh, let's freaking go! Security closet. And I got them both back. And wait! Oh, oh. Okay, that's a nice sniper for dueling. Place 50 meters away for the best experience. Is this how I'm gonna get four levels? Um, oh, I'm gonna get four levels. Right, right, right. Initiate five, five by five series. Oh my god! Okay, so I have to, we gotta take our boy, and we got, we're gonna get levels from the advancement, because it's purple advancement. Um, but the, the big, <laughs> I guess I can just, yeah, put him inside of a freaking encapsulated thing. So hold on, where are we? So 210. Thank goodness I got a lot of arrows. 210, so we're going to like 260 here. Is it 260? I think it's just enough. Um... Can I even get enough arc? No. I gotta do this. I gotta go back down. There we go. And we can do that. But then we're gonna have to place a block in front of him. Obviously. Do that. And then we gotta block him in. Um, am I gonna have to use... Wait. Oh, I have an idea. I have a great idea here. I've got the great idea. All I have to do is this. And... Yeah, I don't know why I put blocks on the ground when I didn't have to do that. But anyway, okay, we should be good. And now, um, for my unnecessarily over-engineering of the house building, there we go, Mr. Sniper for dueling. It is time. You're really asking for it, buddy. Are you sure you want to be doing that when you're trapped in your spot and I'm about to mess things up for you? Okay, I can't even see him. That's what I love about Sniper Duel is you can't even see the skeleton. So. Overshot. Close. I think just like over a little bit more. Missed. Brick. I also probably should have just, you know, uh, hit him a couple times to lower his health. Take aim. That's good. We're almost there. And sniper duel. Oh, hey, what do you know? Perfectly engineered. Four levels. Brilliant. Okay, now, now we can anvil and and all that. So, oh, level five. Are we gonna need? Ow! <laughs> Nothing is done by mistake. There's probably a reason why we have five levels. And we're gonna have to use the bones for something in the future too. But god dang, we got a lot of blocks, and I can't wait until my inventory gets cleared and I find out how I actually really didn't need to do any. What <laughs> I just did. All right, there we go. Piercing four. Beautiful. Get the anvil back just in case. And then we build up again. Another way to conserve an extra block that I wasn't doing before, which is probably super unnecessary, but here we go. As long as I... Yep. Cool, cool. Now we have an extra uh, slab, which is <laughs> definitely going to come in handy. I'm sure of it. So they said item frame, but I don't have an item frame. So I'm going to go with a painting and hope that that... So we painting right in front, and then we shoot through the painting, is my assumption. Well, here goes nothing. The more you know. I didn't know about that. 5x5 five five series booting up. Preparing chambers. Locating nearest player. Preparing escape detector function. Preparing teleportation function. Reset function. Post escape levitation function. Nearest player located. Chamber 5-1 loaded. All right, well... Hey, you know what? We may have started with 3x3, three three, but... Levitation system failed to start. Participant will not be able to exit the chamber after the session is over. To finish 5x5 five five preparation sequence, please reboot the post-escape levitation system. Again? God dang it, man. But yeah, if it weren't for the book, I don't think I ever would have figured out that I have to use piercing to shoot through with a painting. I knew... I, 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 
maybe I would have thought about something with piercing, but I wouldn't have known how to actually execute it necessarily. So, anyway, okay. Um, hmm. Security closet, I can grab that. I can grab everything I possibly can. I can grab the sign from over here. Just to have, in case we gotta do any more observery boy uh, stuff. How do I, oh, it opens stuff over there. Okay, cool. Do we ever get to experience the five by five or is it all just shut down and deactivated? The world may never know. Oh, post escape levitation system reboots. Uh, the frick? So, oh, I still have my Frostwalker boot skis. I forgot, dude. Okay, and then, but how do I get you to activate? That's the question. Oh, they're breaking now? It's not perma? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. We got our slap ski here, wait. Yeah, 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 hold on, we can do that. Dispenser. So, how do I activate the dispenser, though? Uh, can a, can a button send a, oh, it can send a pulse through. Okay, I didn't realize that. Um... Well, what do we want to... Th how about one of the random signs? I feel like a sign would be a decent one to push through here, and hopefully it's not bad. And also, like, wait, 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 wait. What happens if I do this? Oh. Do they all have to be simultaneously activated? Because if that's the case, then... Um... Wait, no, 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 I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. Because, here's... Okay, here's the... I'm assuming it's got... It's a big AND gate. So here's the deal. We get the arrow to activate this one. Cool. Um, we get something on that one sitting there. Cool. Uh, we get something sitting on top of the dark oak. Good. And then I stand on top of that. Actually, no, we should do that in the center. And then I can put the... After I use the button there, I put it there. I shoot it with the arrow. Or uh, maybe you just... I can probably just press it. And while I'm standing on this, let's hope that this is not um, going to be wrong. Okay, so random sign will be good to go. Let's stand up here. Freeze, freeze it up. Free Hello, you are supposed to freeze right now. Uh, pretty please. Why only one? You did, you did fine before. You did it good. You did it great before. Thank you. And yeet. Perfect. Get that back. Good to go. And then we just throw something on. Okay, our clock's ticking, obviously. And then we go... I don't know, arrow in there, does it work first try? Let's find out. And hopefully we can get the button back after. Okay, good. Okay, that's good, and then boom, and boom, and boom, and yeah, post levitation system rebooting. I'm gonna collect the items really quick, the ones that I can at least. Five by five initiation complete. Oh, we're gone, oh, I got, I got no more inventory. Chapter five. I may have um, gone a little overboard in, in my attempts to conserve blocks there. It may not have been as necessary <laughs> as I was thinking. Oh boy, it's five by five now. But you know what? We've already done gigantic chambers. This, is, this should be easy peasy, right? There should be no problems at all. Okay. Next button press. What have we got? What have we got? We got three glass. I take it I am not supposed to retrieve that button anymore. Unless there's water behind the barrel. One can hope. Uh, uh, what, do I, what do I do with three... Glass was I pro I was probably supposed to use the glass in order to push the button back to me is my guess But instead I broke the barrel. So what I did was the, the wrong choice, but fortunately should be really quick <laughs> To get back to that. Okay, here we go this time. Hey Let's get that button back to us, and then we still have a spare glass Brilliant, and now what do you need? Do you just need the glass? Does it just want the glass? Oh, wait, hold on. No, wait, 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 wait. I can put the button on there, but then the hopper is going to steal the button from me. Or can I still get it back? Oh, it's still in there. Okay, cool. 
Um, do we get an- oh, we get another one! Let's go! Easy peasy! Uh, there's- okay, so that one's gonna be problematic, isn't it? But maybe, because I still have the remaining piece of glass, I will be able to- like, what's the significance of the hopper here? Whatever, okay, I can do this, but, uh, <laughs> Heck of a misclick there, folks. Heck of a misclick. Okay, please, uh, please don't freak this up this time. Okay, man. Okay, pretty please. You can do this. You can do this good. And you can, then you can, come on. There we go. Okay, now the issue is, I gotta, uh, okay, so we can craft this into planks here, and then we can use the planks in order to, okay. So, alternatively, I mean, I could just do for, buttons, but the thing, yeah, because, like, why do I even need to retrieve the button? I feel like I'm going to need that button for some reason, but I could just convert the others. Let me just inevitably make the wrong decision here. This is going to be the wrong decision. Whew! Okay. <laughs> it's like, hey, if I can hit them fast enough, then everything will work out in the end. Now, my question here is, when we're in these 5x5s, five fives, is it the same principle as the 3x3s three three, where I had to get like three blocks away? In the, this case, it's like I got to get five blocks away and then I win? Checkpoint! Let's go! Okay. So, same thing, I assume. But maybe it's five blocks instead of three. I'm not entirely sure. But, okay, cool. It just had to be quick. Quick clicks. So... What do we have here? We've got a wood block. Is this just a pressure plate? No, it is a wood block. Would you look at that? Okay, but the big question is, we don't carry any items over from the last room. Um, and hold on, but I, I don't know if these are separate or if these are all linked together. Can I just do one at a time? I can just do one at a time. Okay. It's got a, is that a concrete? Powder? It's not a wool, but let me do this one. Maybe they're kind of interlinked and dependent on each other. Another concrete powder, and there's nothing up there. If I break the ice, will it turn into water? But even if it does, will that flow around? I don't know if we have a loop on our hands here. Let's just do that. Okay, it turns into water, but it doesn't seem to even flow anywhere. But maybe... We do that. Okay, it turns into it turns into concrete, which does make sense. I have to get up. And oh, I can't retrieve the button. Uh, okay, there's another maybe I did it in the wrong order. This might be like order dependent. So let's try it again, but do it in a different way where we can do this. And then we can do this. Easy. And then we can do Break this and do that and see what ha there's a diamond pickaxe. And if I break this first and then break the ice, then maybe the water will flow. Maybe the whole idea was like I had to do I had to break first and then break the ice so it doesn't turn into the concrete. Although I could just break the concrete afterwards. But if I break it as concrete, then I'm not gonna retrieve it. Whereas this, if the water does frick. Okay, let's try something different. Also, I've just I've learned. Ice behavior. If it has a solid block underneath, it turns to water. If it doesn't, then it disappears. This has clarified a lot for me. Maybe too little too late. But if I do this, does it open that up and allow for the water to flow? Holy frick, I also got the button back. That's fortuitous, although the water would have pushed it anyway. So this was actually the way that I was supposed to go. Good. So with that being the case, then, if I break you, button you, and then... What we can do is we can put, um, okay, so uh, we do that, we break it so we can retrieve that plus secondary concrete powder, and then the water is going to take out the item frame, everything is going to come back to me. I am going to have to do the obnoxious part of, like, punching this out, unless actually there's clear, there might be a clear path out there rather than below. Nope, got to punch out the concrete, cool. <laughs> it's good, it's good, it's good, 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 and then... There we go. Thank you very much. I was also thinking if I seal this up completely, 
then it might bring water out into here such that I can get into a crawl and get into there. What the frick, Mr. Pickaxe? That's okay. That's okay. I can get in. I can get in there. I can get in there. Oh, and then I use the pickaxe to retrieve after I place them down, and then I build up inside. It's all starting to make sense now. Yes? Okay, cool. Other than the part where... Okay, wait, wait, wait. There's got to be a way. If I could do this at an angle with the... Yeah, there we go. Saying if I could do this at an angle with, like, the powdered snow and the concrete, then... Yeah, there had to be a way to do it here. Okay, so... Um, is that gonna let, that's gonna allow me to get across, but if I retrieve this, it should act, oh, it stays out, right, 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 of course it does, it stays out, so we're good, and then the question is, <laughs> that was ominous sounding, is there a way for me to, oh yeah, I can kind of guide the water flow across, dude, this is the most, like, <laughs> OP I have felt in this place in a long time. The fact that I have a, a freaking pickaxe at my disposal is crazy. It's not a water bucket. It's not quite that OP, but this, this feels pretty good. And now we just got to build up, and the question is, like, is there a way that we can make, keep any of the blocks? Mm, oh. Ken giveth and Ken taketh away. We have no more pickaxe any longer, and it's a sad time for us here. A blaze spawn egg, blackstone, and what the frick am I supposed to do with this? I can make polished blackstone and then presumably make a pressure plate. Step on that, hit the thing. It's got to be what I'm doing, right? I'm going to get four of these, and I can do that. And I can stand on you. I don't know what the blaze is going to do for us here. Excuse me? Um, excuse me? I guess I could have just unbuttoned. I should probably do that again. It also, it, it does conserve more things. <laughs> Everyone's like, why, why are you doing a pressure plate? It's because I'm used to blackstone pressure plates at this point. That's That's why. We've been blowing them up with TNT and stuff, and now I'm just, I've, I've gotten used to it. Okay. Well, it went bye-bye, because it's not a wood button. So, I could put a blaze in here. I don't know what that's going to do for me. There's a, there's a unique block here that indicates something, but I, I don't know what. I could just break the hopper and see if there's anything on the other side of it, right? Anything? Nothing at all. Okay. Cool. Well, maybe the idea is... Put the blaze down there. Oh, he suffocates. Okay. No, he's not suffocating anymore. I got too close. Um. What do you do for me? What is it that you do? Do you do anything for me? Does me being on fire uh, help things in any way? Oh, I didn't see that there. Ow. Okay. All right. Stop. Stop. Oh, I'm still freaking dying. Oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Does this work? <gasps> Let's go. That's how you place a block on the underside. What a dummy. Yeah, let's go. Okay, uh, you have to hit. You have to hit something. Oh, oh, ow. Ow. I'm on the clock here. I got a target. Um, um, hit it, hit it, hit it. Come on, swing batter, swing. Swing batter, swing. I'm out! <laughs> Thank you. I didn't actually know blazes could set off target blocks. Uh, new information. I figured it had to be the case, but um, there you go. Gimme, gimme. What do we have in here? We have, oh my god, a lot of things. Wait, four. Am I going in reverse order now or something like that? A lot of concrete powder. Pickaxe that can break a lot of things because we're in survival mode. Stone cutter that can do who knows what. And, oh! Okay, so it's, it is merely an escape. I have to get out of here. I mean, I don't see how any of the... Oh, God. Balls. Oh, frick. Um, what? 
Apparently, either I have to get lucky, which is also uh, obviously not supposed to be part of the process here, or I have to figure out a better way to get these blocks to me. Um, hmm, how do I ensure that I am the recipient of... that works. God dang it, man. Okay, back to square one. Back to square one. Here we go. Yeah, I love it when luck is on my side. Uh, but you, come on, there we go. And then, gimme, gimme, yes! Perfect. Sometimes luck is good. Um, oh yeah, and then of course this. Okay, we must escape now. So, how do I get out of there? in a good way. So, I wonder if we can do... Oh, this isn't gonna work as well as the powdered snow trick, probably, because we can't just give ourselves the block underneath. We have to hope that both go into our inventory, which is gonna be rough. So, don't know about that one. Um, the button, on the other hand, we can do this, and that gets us a step higher. Um... So, I feel like this isn't going to work for me. I don't... Yeah, I don't think that happens. Um, so, hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Is there a way that I can, like... Can I get onto you with that? No. I was wondering if I do that. No, I can't use that either. Dude, this is a lot... Like... <laughs> There's one thing when it was a three by three room, but like this is a long way to scale with not that many blocks. That's that's just that's big brain right there, right? We do this, and then um, we do this, and we do this, and then we do. Uh, can I reach? Is the question? Oh no, you. Mm, um. Okay, I don't like the part where you can only really do like one block at it. So I do that, right? And then I can grab, which is cool. But that only works to the extent that I uh, have the ability to shift off to the side, which I can't do in every situation. And also now I'm stuck being unable to do this. I can't build up from here because the stone cutter is a wonky freaking dummy. Oh, man. I was going to be sick if I could do it. I was going to be sick. I think I can. And I don't know if it's the way that I'm actually, like, supposed to do this thing. But I kind of want to kind of want to try. Right? Okay, so. Oh, it didn't. Oh, I forgot to put down the carpet first. God dang it. That might have actually been the correct timing, which would have been sick. Um, anyway, okay. Let me go here. Break you, wrong thing, and then get you, and then get the carpet down, okay, and then, <laughs> come on, no, dang it, dang it, <sighs> ooh, buddy, woohoo, let's go, that was sick, uh, I don't know if it actually helps me, does it help me, I hope it helps me, it has enabled me to get higher, and if I build up like this, I can't shift off the side anymore. Frick. What if I just do this? But now I can't get... God freaking dang it! <laughs> oh, I thought I was onto something. I did get a block higher, but... Oh, heck, dude. Okay, so, uh, carpet... Carpet was seven. Um, five, four, two, one. I don't know what three is, and I don't know if anything goes beyond to like eight with a button or something like that um i don't like what i still don't like how does the how do the numbers come into play so one two blank four uh what is the stone cutter three maybe oh, oh. am i just a big idiot <laughs> I'm just a really big idiot, and that all I needed to do was like l listen to the numbers, and then this is five. So, uh, hello, frick. Five, and then 
But then what, it doesn't actually help me a great deal in the last, no, wait, Do, it still doesn't help me. How does this help me in any way, shape or form? Cool, if I were to do that, you can't put a, you can't put a carpet on a, you can put a carpet on a button. Oh, you can put a carpet on a button. What do you know? And then presumably we can retrieve these from the hopper. Yep. And then we can use them to get out. Oh my God. So the hopper thing did come into play. I'm, I'm proud of my little MLG thing that I did there because, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. The more, you know, I did not know you could, you could button carpet. Each hopper requires at least two items to be activated. Oh, is this hopper room? This is hopper room number two, folks. We got the sequeling. Right. So two items in it's not just one, now it's two. Oh good. How am I gonna do this differently? Right, so we can't throw it over that. So oh, what were we doing last time here? It was like we we had the ability to store items in a brewing stand and then the hopper would like suck them out. And that would be great. Um here though, we have no such luxury, and instead I could convert these into nuggies. And then, like, that would give us more opportunity, because all we're trying to... But unless I need the iron for, like, a future hopper, in which case, then I've screwed myself. I am not entirely sure. There's also no other stuff. Also, of course, like, I can grab the sign. Um, okay, I'm brain, I'm brain farted today, because I feel like it's just... Okay, I can do this, and that goes in. And then I can just put the lever down, and then we're, we're good. I don't know why I was... I don't know why he's not, not connecting with that one sooner. Um, that was very, very silly. <laughs> uh, okay, so, oh, I've just gotten rid of the lever, and now we get the dropper. I suppose I wouldn't have been able to put the dropper down, like, facing it anyway. But, okay, let's think. So we're not going to have the ability to place blocks that we can break by hand. I assume that we're going to be working towards getting a clay, uh, fourth clay ball so we can just make a clay block and then, like, break it, maybe, and supply a bunch. Probably wouldn't be that easy, though. That would be too easy. Um, so, can I eat? <laughs> I could try. I could also convert to bone meal. I might have to redo this, potentially, but hold on. Can I just... No. Can I... Hold on. Well, now we're just fricked, because the items are merging. Uh, can't make it. We're going we're gonna to have to do a trigger reset, but I'm just trying to see my maximum throwing arm here, you know? <laughs> Okay, I want. Is there like a dropper mechanic that I'm not? Oh, frick! That's kind of silly. That's kind of silly. All I had to do was, yeah, that's all I had to do was just. Uh, I don't know, but which items? That's the bigger question. Like, do I do a couple clay balls, or do I think that's going to come into handy later? Do I do it with the the bone, or do I think that's going to come in handy later? Do I do it with the chain and the golden apple? Because what the frick are they going to have anything to do with with anything later on? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. I'm going to do this because I feel like these other blocks have more utility associated with them for future parts of the thing. There we go. Okay, cool. What do you want me to do? We got an eye of Ender. I had a feeling. Okay, we get the clay block. Oh, God. So here's the part where we feel like super ultra confident about um, using the clay block, right? But it's not the answer because it's like the clay block is too valuable or something. Can I grow skulk vein with with bone meal? Cuz I'm curious if I if I did this and then uh that's not bone meal. So that does not work, but I could shear it, right? Seeds come from trees. It's good good information. Good information. I could just do this, but I have a terrible feeling that this is going to be premature, and I'm going to be wrecked. You're such an idiot. You're so stupid. Should have placed it on the bottom. You're so dumb. I still feel like it's probably wrong, because that was four instead of two. And what in the world? <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Seeds come from trees. Large amethyst bud. We got a freaking thing over there. Why do I need seeds? Why do I need a fishing rod? Can I... Can I place down the the bush somewhere? Am I even, I'm not able to do that. And even if I could, like, uh, would I, how would I get, what the frick? 
what the frick? How would I do? But if I, I can't, because that has to be put on like sand or dirt or podzol, right? I can't just magically put it down. Like a bottle of enchanting, but how am I going to even enchant? Where the frick is the anvil? And I can't do anything with that unless, I don't think yeeting the bottle over there is going to uh, <laughs> count. I don't think if you yeet the bottle and it doesn't hit the ground but hits a hopper instead. Uh, Propagule, wait, are these labeled item hopper? No, they're just hoppers, but Propagule happens here. So are you saying that if I break this mangrove leaf, I will get the Propagule? Okay, I have just been made aware via uh, the <laughs> Minecraft wiki that if you bone meal, uh, you, get a, you get a Propagule, which I did not actually no, until now, which I probably covered in a snapshot video at some point, and then that information just went out the window. I'm still not entirely sure how this helps me out because I um, still need to grow it. Okay, so I was, mm, I'm so dumb. I was thinking, I was thinking that you had to I was thinking you had to bone meal the underside of the block for the propagule to grow, but you can actually just you can actually just click the leaf, and as long as there's space for it to grow. But, but now I have to wait for it to. Mm. Right, right. I'm forgetting. I forgot. There's, this is an opening. There's an opening. God damn it, man! All right, guys. Surely this time I'm gonna get it. <laughs> uh. Look, look, okay, it's growing. And please fall. I'm sure this time my leaf will fall where it is supposed to, right? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, now I have to go. Uh, uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, oh dear. Wait, I gotta go. I gotta go up in order to get out. So what you're saying is I pr I shouldn't have used the bone meal. I should have just waited for the propagule to grow. So I had the bone block and then the bone block plus the chain, and I could have gone after all this time. Okay, I'm gonna be waiting now. Oh. I think it grew. And if the leaf doesn't make it, I'm gonna... Ooh, it's not gonna be good. Okay, thank you. And now, finally, for my escape from this place. I've done it. Oh, that was suffering, man. Okay. All right. Oh, hello. Um, so we've got a uh, pickaxe and, and an item frame. And is there a way that I can simply grab that? Oh, maybe not. Maybe I've made a terrible mistake. Huh! Well, that was the... That was the observation edge. That was supposed to cause things to happen when I when I create observation edge there, but apparently not. Um, I mean, there's nothing to do but that first. Do I just have to maybe get lucky on the whole mm, pickaxe? Thing. Come on. There we go. Okay, yeah. Sometimes you just need a little bit of luck. So, we can collect all this stuff, right? Because we got we got silky touch. Oh, it's growing very rapidly. I see. Cool. So the amethyst cluster then. Okay. Balls! Wait, that's fine. I, I can retrieve it. I was thinking like maybe it's just not counting as something? Huh. I wonder if I just need to like stock up on, do I just need to like stock up on a bunch of these and then I can break the bud block, maybe? Problem is I can't make any amethyst blocks because like silk touch is actually being problematic. I could harvest the smaller ones though. I don't know if those will be helpful. I feel like it's about getting into a crawl. It like, it always is, isn't it? It always is about getting into a crawl. Wait, can I do? That. Oh, and then I can do wait, and then I 
can do that. I can go around there, but I'm still not sure how this is helping me out. Maybe if this just gets broken, it will drop them in as, yeah, it will drop them as the, as the shards. And I can use those to do things like make the block of amethyst or I don't know, other things perhaps, which is what I was saying I couldn't do last time. Um, but then from there, I like, there's no crafting recipes I can do with this. I can just kind of, I can, I can grab. Whee! That doesn't help a great deal. That doesn't help either. Um, that's kind of, that's kind of fricked. You can, you can harvest, you can harvest that by... I didn't know you could harvest that by hand. Oh my god! You can—it's like a beacon. It's like a beacon. You can punch this stuff by hand. There's no way that this is a thing. There is no way. Oh my god! There is no way. Holy frick! How? How did I never know this? To be fair, I never really collect amethyst, but oh my god! That's a thing. Well, now I don't have to worry about picking this up at all. I can also, I can give myself the observer block and then I can, I can, oh my god. Oh my god. And there's no way ever in the universe that I was ever going to realize this. Okay, well, now let's do this again. That's the wrong way to do it. That's, we don't want to do it that way. We want to do it that way. We just need to get extra block in order to force the... Observer over to me, and then we can use that. Wow. Okay. You learn something new every day, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Up. Up there. Please grow. Please grow. Please grow. Please grow. Can I get? Don't do this to me. Don't. 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 Don't do that. Don't do that. Please. Oh, okay. Please don't do that to me. Please don't do that to me, though. Pretty please. Still. Still. In theory, be present, such that I can get you to me with. Another whoa, whoa, two blocks. Pretty please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please be there. Okay, you're there. Good job. Good job. And then... I was facing the wrong way. That's not the right way. Um, but that's okay because all we got to do is get more blocks in order to win. And we do this. And we do, I guess I could have done it with the Observer too, but balls. We're good, we're good, and we are good. Whew! What, what did that do? <laughs> I don't know, what did that do? Did that open, uh, wait, 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 did it open something on the other side of here? It opened something on the other side of here, okay. It opened a way, <gasps> I actually have an idea, finally, something takes place. And, and I actually have an idea of what needs to happen. I need to grow a crystal into my head. <laughs> okay, yep, yep, come on. It's making me crouch. Mm, this is comfortable. Okay, I'm not crawling. I really thought this would work, but instead what's happened is I've just been impaled. Which is regrettable. Maybe we just need, we need to just coax it a little, a little bit more. Okay, so what we need to do is wait for some growth here, right? And see, there's got to be a reason why we have the silk touch, right? There simply has to be a reason why we have the silk touch. And I think that reason is so that we can wait for a small little growth. Yeah, like this. And then we can pl place that down and then it will compress us further to the point where I will be forced into a crawl. Or alternatively, it will simply continue to grow into my head. Yo, there we go. Come on. Come on. Huge plays. Are these petrified? They seem kind of they seem kind of petrified. At first they were afraid, but now they're petrified. What do we have here? We have sweeping edge. I feel like if anything else spawns next to this, I could sweepy edge it into oblivion or something like that. Hold on. Okay, so we have tracks on top. 
and somehow we need to, so if I get a signal into there, then the cart will go over there, which helps me somehow. I don't know entirely. Uh, okay, one of these is actually a, a plank, which is good news. Um, so we can do this. And then I can not get in there, okay. Uh, but I can. Um, you know, I, I probably like wasn't supposed to go jump into here is my guess. <laughs> but, uh, um, mm -hmm. but if I were to do, that doesn't go, that's not going to work. Do I have to like do it really quick? Uh, that doesn't work either. And let's try this again. The problem is, how do I retrieve the minecart? Oh, that's how I retrieve the minecart and get out. I go down there, and then I have the track placed up here, and then I can, you know, get back on out. So we put that down there, and then we do this, and then, perfect. Okay, just little by little, baby steps, baby steps. I can also just give this back, and then, oop, perfect. And now the question is, do you automatically gravitate towards the minecarts? And the answer is no. Maybe the idea is it's not track related and you can just do, like, you can just push the minecart, like, through, right? Like, I do this, I break the track from underneath, now we got a minecart on the loose, and then we just do the thing where we nudge it. It'd be even cooler if we did the thing where we stacked minecarts on top of each other. And then, you know, have that, like, magical thing that just goes forward no matter what. But that's not working either. Why aren't you working? I've just somehow, I've just somehow, like, completely neglected the fact that, that, that I have the sword. And there's got to be a reason why I have the sword. It's not just magically in my inventory for no reason. Although in the hopper one, there were things in my inventory that were there for no reason. That coincided with some very, very um, spooky noises, but uh, yeah, cool. No, that's great. Why wasn't I thinking about that before? It's so dumb. Okay, you go up there, and now get me out of here, please. I wish to exit the place. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Why? Uh, hold on. Oh, please. Please go. Okay, cool. I was worried that wasn't going to go back into my inventory. I need to get in there and then be able to... Shift out and be in the crawl and then exit the the place. We did it. Let's go. That one took me too long to realize. Whoops. Pardon me. Just had to go put on a sweater. Definitely still the uh, same one one straight shot recording session here. Um, <laughs> all right. So let's make a button and cool. And we get the button back. And is there? Oh, there's another button to do. No, don't go down. Oh, that's fine. I can get in there. I don't know if I was actually supposed to go in there, though. Um, actually, yeah, 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 because I can get back out with that. So we're all good there. So I'm supposed to use this bed, presumably. Oh, I see a little... There is a thing in there. Presumably supposed to use the bed to escape and retrieve the button. Okay. So I guess the bed is... It's... It's basically just being yeah, used. God, God dang it. No, the bed is not. Okay, there we go. W's only. The bed is being used to retrieve buttons and also maybe retrieve things like. Oh, wait, there's also. Hold on. Got it. And can I. Uh, I'm hoping that I didn't need to be able to reach the orange wool to be able to get my... It's not letting me put my bed down. Let me... Oh, I forgot it goes on that side. Okay, is this gonna... Oh, sick. Did the stuff just go down there, or did I pick it? Wait, where did the orange wool go? Did the orange wool go down into the pits? Because I'd rather the orange wool did not go down into the pit. If I go down into the pit, am I going to be fricked? I feel like I am going to be fricked if I go down into the pit. But it's also there. It must exist for... There must be a reason for the pit to exist, right? There's got... Oh, I, 
I just realized the orange wool uh, back ro- back rooms itself it it phased out of the wall. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Kidoki. Surely you are not going to disappear and go away this time, right? Okay, we got it. That's very good news. Now, I have to imagine there is a reason why the pit is here. Can I? I can't. Um, I just want me to put it down, though. And, like, I think it's trying to place it that way, and so it's, like, not working. And if I do that, like, I don't know if I can get the angle. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's more of a put the wool down, put the bed on, and then do that. Yeah, that's probably it. And then, yep, we get another button down. He, what? How has this helped? I must have done something back outside. Uh, and then I can do that. Yeah. And then wait. Okay, good. I was hoping I wouldn't lose the uh, orange wool there. Okay, so something must have changed, right? Right, right. But where? Oh, something changed over here. We get to work our way through. Um, um, uh, huh. So, did I miss something? I miss something? I'm not sure if I missed something. Can I get more elevation just to, like, be able to see what is on the other side of that? Okay, so it's got an... Oh, there's a... Oh, okay. But hold on. There's no way for me to be able to hit the button. Even if I place the button there, like it's got to be... Okay, so there's some way that I have to get the bed... Over there in a placeable fashion that works. I gotta experiment. Can you put a bed underneath? You can put a bed underneath a block. And then you can break it, and then you'll be able to sleep in the bed. So that must be what we're going for here, is we're doing that. And then doing that. But then I gotta freaking... Is there like a microscopic... There's not. Um, okay, is it that I, I'm just dumb and, like, all I had to do was place the, the bed below the button? Like, it was just bed under button? I didn't need the orange wool to be able to do it. Is that all that it was? It was really just that? Holy frick. I keep forgetting you don't actually need a base to put the bed on and then, hold on. Now the question is, can I can I keep the orange wool or do I not need to keep the orange wool here? Bed's too far away. I think I gotta, I think the orange wool goes bye-bye. Oh, that's so dumb. I'm so dumb for not, god dang it. I just, I made it, like, harder on myself. I made it more difficult than it actually had to be. Okay, so that must have opened things up on the other side, which then begs the question, how do I get back through? Um, which hopefully is just easy as, as this, right? And then get there. Okay, cool. And then we get to re-retrieve the orange wool. And now we're over here. Okay. Why did I not? I don't know why I didn't do that first. <laughs> and this is interesting, on the other hand, because, like, okay, I don't... I don't think I can... I, I like, can't just sleep in the bed, so the, it's probably got to be a crawl, right? We got to utilize the crawl mechanic that we kind of accidentally did before, I'm assuming, right? And perfect. And we're out. And we've room. And we're done. Let's go. I mean, we're not done. We're just into the next chamber. Okay. I love it when it gives you kind of a, a freebie. Wait, is there some sort of, like, hitbox cheese that we can do here with, with the end rods or something like that? Because I've done end rod glass pane parkour before, and it has weird, like, half a pixel hitboxes, but I don't know if that's what we're going for here. Is there a button in my head? There's no button in my head. Um, I guess I could just break everything, to be fair. I don't know why I'm treating this, um, it just, you know, me going and changing my, my sweater. It really just, it wiped my memory, dude. Or adding the sweater really <laughs> wiped my memory. Okay, so that means there's just, there's a way to get into a crawl using frog lights and end rods. A lot of them. Which is interesting. How would I do this? How would I, how would I get myself into a crawl... Oh, okay, hold on. So there's barriers there, but there is an opening over here. So there's something to do with, like, this specific opening. Hello, everyone. I have made a determination that I... 
don't want to use the button yet on this one and and that I should instead take the button and put it to use in getting me into a crawl <laughs> then get into a crawl somehow all the way over to there and let's see let's see how this works okay so hold on if I were to do this, and then if I want to start at a higher elevation versus having to do... This is going to be a repeat of the snow layer thing. This is going to be a re total repeat of the snow layer thing, isn't it? But, okay, so we do that. And then question is, right, if I, if I go on here and I flip this up, it's going to put me into a... That is not the place. But it's going to not put me into a... <laughs> I, I want to be in a, in, a, in a crawl up against here, if you don't mind. Okay, well, well let me do that. Got it. So I am, I am going to have to work my way all the way up. Got it. Cool. Okay, well, that then begs the question. Um, is there a way that I can crawl on top of, uh, of end rods? Hold on, if I put, okay, no, I can't put an end rod on top of there. So how in the world, then, am I supposed to maintain a crawl to, to be able to get up there and get the, what in the world is this, like, the world's craziest staircase of all time? Help me. What do I do? The, what, what do I possibly do here? Does that, okay, that actually leaves me in a crawl. Which I still don't know if that's of any help, but... Okay, we're making progress now. All right, so that's the stair step. I see. So we go there, and then is it that? And then that maintains my crawl, right? And then we basically just, like, alternate, I, I guess. So hold on, that, and then we go one... Yeah, that's that one, and then the next is there, and we're just, are we just alternating, basically, there, and there, yep, 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 and then, um, we alternate there, and there, and then we go there, and there, and then, are we good, are we good, is that, no, that's not gonna let me through, right, it's that. Okay, and I think we're through. Okay, I just gotta make sure, I gotta retrieve the button is the only thing. So, gotta go into there, get into a crawl, retrieve the button, give me the button please, thank you. And now, does this, does this get us all the way up? No, why have you done this? Oh, you idiot, wait, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Oh, it's gotta be, uh, it's gotta be this way. That's what it is, that's what it is. It's gotta be that way, and then this has to be that way. And then this has to be, can I even get this angle? Yeah, that way. Okay, and then I think that works. Let's try that again. Okay, give me the button, thank you. And now, does this work? Oh, that's what I'm talking about, dude. That's what I'm talking about. And up we go again. We're learning so many ways between snow layers and this to be able to get into everlasting crawls. All right, let's go. Checkpoint, okie dokie. Hey bud, how's it going? So I have to feed you diamonds, but it's it's good. You give a good return on investment there. Thank you very much. Okay, we got a blast furnace over there that I assume I can reach if I just, there's our diamond. Um, oh, can I let, I can let you out. Okay, cool. So I can just get the, uh, get that, use it for something. Is there anything behind there? Huh. I've got to assume it's yet another crawl situation. So, what can I use to get myself into a crawl? Maybe, maybe it's a crawl situation? It's all blocks that have wonky hitboxes. Is there... Well, actually, you know what I can do? I can just do this, right? And then... Yeah, that can get me into a crawl. Ow, balls. Ow, 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 owie, owie. Oh, wait, okay, so there, oh, wait, 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 there's an opening on that side. Hold on, there is an opening over there, I believe. 
because I'm not seeing a wall block. I'm just seeing ceiling. But what does this do? Frick, come on. Come on. Let me see through. What do we got over there? What do we got? Is it just lava? I don't know what I'm looking at. Um, I mean, there's definitely stuff through there. Maybe the idea, honestly, is just trade, get blocks, block the lava. We can try any given one. Oh, you're kidding me. Wait. Wait, is it a freaking lava maze, dude? How deep is this? Oh, jeez, bud. Okay, we gotta reset that one right there. Oop. I'm wondering... Like, is there a way for me to block the channel of lava, get through the corner, right? Like, I go, okay, that's not working. That's not working. Ow. I don't think that any of these blocks are breakable with my bare hand, so I can't, once they're placed, like, that's it. But is it about... Uh -huh. One that has a hitbox on the underside, which will either be the lantern or the grindstone. I'm gonna go back to the lantern. Oh my god. Yeah, that that doesn't help me either, does it? That doesn't help me at all. Is it about being able to like squeeze by? Because I can I can obviously like, break the chain in order to be able to have a a more straightforward path through here. It takes a very long time to get rid of. I'm just thinking like, okay, so if I could squeeze between here. And the wall, maybe that would help out somehow. I think it's too deep though, like, maybe cauldron. What does cauldron look like? Is there a way to place on the undershot? It's just placed next to it. What the frick? <laughs> if I put these side by side, is it, is there like, that's, that's not, that's not gone well. That's not gone well at all. Okay. Like, I'm inclined to wonder if maybe the chains are, like, a hint. The fact that I need to straddle two things. And so, you know, it is. It is actually a hint. This is the most harrowing <laughs> bank vault heist break-in of all time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Ah, oh, dude, when it comes to the trading ones, it's just, it's just multiple choice. You just gotta, like, guess and check. Okay, so, give me that button. And we got an item frame and a crossbow. Can I reach the barrel? Slash, putting the button down there. Mmm, there we go. I give you the arrows, and then, presumably, can get the hitbox there. And shoot the button. Uh-oh. What has this done for me? Oh! Okay, so we have a... Hold on, we have a creeper. We have... So that's double barrier right there. Can't do anything about that. This is open. But, um... What the frick? I'm hoping I don't need the button anymore, and obviously I can't retrieve the barrel even if I break it, so I feel like that doesn't do anything for me. So, like, we... the. We are limited to the tools we have now. I was thinking maybe the anvil would be named, like, a clue or something. So somehow I have to get, like, the creeper to get yeeted over to there. How would I do that? I can't move the anvil. It's like, do I, I shoot the arrows onto the anvil, like, shoot a whole bunch of them, then spend a year breaking it with my fist, hope that one of the arrows like, bounces into the creeper and sends the creeper over to the pressure plate. It's like doing the, um, it's the cheesy way to get the bullseye advancement where you just set a bunch of arrows above the bullseye, walk away, trigger the trap door with redstone, and then one of them hits the bullseye when you're standing 15 blocks away or whatever it is. We'll find out. This is probably super wrong. Come on, baby, let's go. Okay, wait, what? I, oh, okay, I was like, wait a minute, this is all barriers, what the frick? Um, so it's probably another one of the uh, the classic button tricks. Hey man, thanks for helping, appreciate you. Not often you're able to do something nice. 
But today you figured out how. I still have arrows, which is good. Um, so hold on. Wait, actually, is the idea like, bidet? can you dispense a button onto the thing uh, above it? Uh, let me, so if I were to, yeah, that works. But then, but then, oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Then we go yeet, and we go, come on, let's go, baby. And then, so this is all barriers. Oh, piercing, oh, and then I remember, this is a callback. Ken, why do you do this to me? Cool. I've just gotten an ad advancement for resetting 100 times. Mm, okay. I wonder if there's just like a bugged way to shoot through the corner of a block or something. There's just a bugged way to shoot through the corner of a block. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Okay. And now we just, now we know the rest, so at least that's pretty simple. Good, and then do this, and then we finish it up, right? Is that finished? That is finished. Dang, would have been a would have been a heck of a speed run if it weren't for the part. Or I I overly complicated what I did. I'm actually that was cool that that worked though. The break the anvil and do like the bullseye uh, trick. I think that was a cooler way to do it, actually. That would, have, that would have been really cool, actually, as the puzzle itself have two anvils, right? And one of them is, or another, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the anvil, because the hitbox is the thing that actually made it possible. Two anvils. One of them, you actually break. Don't have that corner there. You have to shoot the anvil. You break the anvil, hits the creeper. Then also you get the anvil for the for the next thing, right? You get the anvil for uh, applying the enchants. That would have been pretty cool. Or you get, the, you get the piercing book beforehand. I don't know. Anyway, could have been... Could have been kind of slick. Um, do we have another? Oh, I see you. Oh, I have the axe as well. It, it's probably going to be a lot of breakage in here if I had to assume. Um, okay, so we got to do both. Do we have to do both at the same time? I see. We got to do both at the same time. So, um, what is the best play for this where I can get both of them at the same time? I don't have a bed, as far as I'm aware, to be able to like get in there, get into a crawl, and then be able to click them both quickly. And if I break this, yeah, I can probably do it fast. Let's give it a try. See how it goes. Wait. God dang it. Why am I so bad at this? Please click and then click. What am I doing? It's not that hard. There we go. Jeez. What am I doing wrong? Well, at least I got the things back. That's cool. And then, um, ooh. Don't actually, am I going to be able to grab this thing? Because this isn't going to break closely. I feel like there is a world in which I could break it, and it would be close enough to me. But there's also a world in which I break it, and it's definitely not going to be close enough to me. So, yeah, okay. That was the more expected outcome. But on the other hand, I can just keep trying it until it works or phases out of the map. There we go. <laughs> okay, so now we're up. Where is the next one? Oh, God, I don't want to, like, fall into any of these places. Hold on. If I drop down into... Oh, we got a triple. Oh, baby, a triple. So... Hope for the best, right? I guess, you know, once again, if we don't collect it, yeah, we can always just, um... Just place the other one until it works. All right, watch my lack of success here. Nope, I got it. Huge. So the whole idea here is basically just, like... Uh, delete all the blocks until the room is open and we can escape. Okay, so... Ah, frick. Ah, fricky. And gotta, I gotta hit all three this time while also... Go! Why are you so bad at hitting buttons? It's amazing how bad you are. That was not it either. Frick. Okay. So top two first. Frick, wait. Wait. Frick! Ugh. There we go. Oh, it took long enough. Holy heck, dude. Wait, what? Where did the button? Oh my god, you're kidding me right now. You're kidding me, dude. Where? How do I get my buttons back? Can I get through here? No. Okay, there's that. Oh, wait, there's more. 
Oh, wait, there's more. Now I can get him. Okay, good, 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 good. God, I was so worried that I had just gotten RNG'd and done. We can get that, right? There we go. Okay, quick hands, everybody. Quick hands. So I'm thinking it's probably like this. Go through there. And hope that we get this one. Yay, perfect. Well, fast hands, which I am not good at. Not good at. Oh, I'm so bad at doing this. Okay. No. See, I think if I hold right click, it, there is like some amount of delay and it can skip over sometimes. I just have to be really fast about it. Okay, now I can finally be a Formula One driver doing the light, fast hands exercise. Checkpoint, thank you for participating. Please wait for our automated system to extract you from the chamber. Oh yeah, is it gonna work this time? It's working, it's working, it's working. No, let me up, let me up, let me up, no. No, it's not, oh. Oh, okay, did that work? Wait, I'm forever levitating, hold on. I can't grab, can I grab anything on the way up? Is there anything here? Hello? Subject debrief and extraction, before debrief, Wait until existential panic phase ends and proceed with survey questions. Following survey, open cell ceiling and affect subject with levitation. Okay, that's already happened, presumably so. Um, I want to be able to get the signs, but I don't know if I can get the signs. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's escape room. Minecraft escape, but upside down. <laughs> oh, I am fricked, guys. Okay, is there something I have to do, like, really quickly before before I get out of here, before I get fricked up? Do I have to grab something from here? Don't send me yet, guys! Oh, no! Well, uh, wait, 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 Is there something? Okay, so there's nothing here. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. I could break. Oh, it's going to take absolutely forever to do anything because I'm floating in the air. That's going to be fricked up. I can take the book. I mean, obviously, I can break the signs slowly, but I can't. I can't collect them! I'm not used to Minecraft, but you are stuck to the ceiling escape room where everything is slow. Please give me aqua or air affinity. I would love it. You know, maybe the whole idea is just throw the thing onto... That's, that's the... Hold on. Is chapter six, I am just floating? <laughs> Bro. Oh, I remember seeing this earlier, dude. I remember this. Oh, God. Okay, so hold on. Is the whole idea here... Tell me tell me, I don't lose when I just go all the way to the top and that the spider webs are just there to potentially frustrate me. Right? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. There's water. Oh my god, dude. Wait. No way. I have to use the water to, like, descend? Bro, this is nuts. Hold on. I can't get over... There's no way I can get over there. I, I, there's no way, right? I'm be levit. I'm I'm levying. I'm levying. Um, bro, what? Hold on. Is there an up from here? Was I too focused on going down that I didn't? Ch no. No. What? No. What? What are you? What are you? What are you getting at, dude? What are you getting at here? What is this? I couldn't have broken any of those cobwebs and used them to my advantage up here either. Like, hold on, if I go down under, if I go under this? Oh, okay, I use this in order to, like, travel to the... Why am I so slow? I have just, I've gotten so slow. Uh, and then, oh, go, go, go! Dude, why did I just, I just started going so slow, like, I'm moving really quickly right now. And then I got in there, and it was like, yeah, no, time to just, time to go, like, the slowest you've ever gone in your life. Okay, now we can actually do this. Cool. Oh, and down we go. All right, all right, all right. So we got a little connector here. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Hold, hold on just a minute here. Okay. So, whoop, oh, okay, that's as slow as it goes. That's as slow as it goes. So somehow I have to use this stuff in order to... Oh, God. To use this stuff get through so it's got to be wait is it over there it's probably just that that track right there yep okay cool 
If I fail this and I have to go back, it's gonna be real frustrating. Go, 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 go. Got it. Heck yeah. And then is it you? No, it can't be you. Because our next thing's gotta be like over there, right? Okay, go. Nope. Oh, balls. It's fine. It's fine. It's an easy reset, right? If we need to. Wait. Oh, I don't know. Do I have enough? Oh, I don't. I don't have enough. Is it back over here? No, wait, it says go up there. Why does it say go up? Oh, okay, I gotta get behind there. So I'm not trying to go that direction. I see it starts to make sense. Go fast. Thank you. Okay, so I think the idea is get, get under there. Yep, 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 yep. And then get under here. Okay, perfect. And then I think we gotta just dive. We gotta just dive for it. Shortest distance is straight line. No, you idiot. I don't know. I mean, maybe that corner is is key. And then I, I don't know if I can just go underneath. Kind of the same as if you're standing on a corner block. You can just like shimmy under. Does it work? Come on, shimmy under there. Shimmy under there. Shimmy under there. You got it. You got it. Yes. Okay, perfect. And up we go. Checkpoint, great. Oh, up, up, okay. I was like, please don't tell me we need to have an item to be able to throw on that, and I don't have an item, but we have a checkpoint, so that's good. I don't think it would let us checkpoint if we didn't have the abil uh, ability to do the next part. Um, I'm not seeing anything through there. I am still levitating. Man, these folks really fricked up with their evacuation levitation mechanic, man. They really fricked it up badly. Okay, we're going there. And then it must be, is there another way to do it? I could have gone, no, that was already low. That's where we came in. We might have to just end up like looping back around and doing a, another thing here in the future in order to like get through the gate. God dang it, bro. Okay, maybe I needed to just be absolutely as straight as possible. Yes, there we go, in order to get under. And then probably run into that. Okay, we have extra water, which is good. Okay, so that's good. So that means we probably want to go under like the lowest one, right? Maybe if that's even possible. I don't know if that's possible. No, that is not very possible. Wait, even if I could get under there, what does that achieve for us? What do we get? What do we get in reward for going over there? We get nothing. There's nothing for me here. Okay, <laughs> I've just magically managed to remain in crawl, uh, which it was it was a hint given to me. I mean, as as always, everything is about getting into a crawl. Um, but I guess I was at the top of the thing. I guess if you are at the top, then it keeps you in in a crawl, which I might have even done previously, but I wouldn't have known because the perspective looks the exact same in first person. So I might have even done this before. Oh, I definitely did. I definitely did do this before and I didn't realize. That's why I was so slow going under that bridge that one time. And I'm like, what the heck happened? If I had gone into F5, I would have been crawling. Okay. Okay. So this is, this is one of those things. This is one of those things where there's no way I would have realized. All right. Um, so is this like, uh, it's like an open at the bottom maze or something like that that we gotta get through in order to find the, the next step, um, which is not here. It's got it. I don't, do I need to be in crawl anymore? I feel like I don't need to be in crawl anymore, but I also don't think I can get out of it now. Um, can I, can I, let me out. Nope, I can't get out of crawl, I'm stuck here. You know what? Um, I think what we have here is a little observer block situation where maybe we grab this thing and then it will allow me to, like it'll it'll drop water. Or it, or it won't. But it did like illuminate something. I don't know if it unlocked um, something else. So I'm wondering if the idea here is like I need to redirect the water flow using this block and then that'll allow me access underneath and that's like the next step and, and we're just done in there. So thankfully I'm moving quickly again, but let's give this a try and what, what, 
What is what is wrong with the water? Why, why is the water uh fricked? Why doesn't it spill? Water, why don't why don't you spill? I mean, I guess this is fine. Like I can still get through, but why you no spill? Also, this might just totally be a red herring. I maybe the idea is honestly just to navigate the water back over so it spills down the uh, spills down the bigger opening, possibly. Where block? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, there it is. Um, maybe like a little bit more. A little bit more so that we can get over there without getting out of the crawl and levitating up. And then like that. I don't think that did anything. And like that. That didn't do anything. I keep placing it in the wrong location. Come on. And there. Okay, and then we should be able to get the crawl all the way over. Yikes! Nope! Ah, oh, frick. Okay, still in the water, still in the water, still in the water. We're, okay, we're just trying to flood everything. <laughs> That's the idea, I think, maybe, although, hold on. What does this allow for me? Does this allow us, we need to remember, we need to get to the, um, we need to get to that door that had the uh, pressure plate in front of it and probably end up throwing the light on there. The question is, how do I get that over here? Hold on. If I were to do this... Will that scatter the water over the edge? It's gonna be such a mess, like, continuing to... Oh god, it just doesn't wanna... It doesn't wanna flow. Aqua Affinity Man! Holy frick, for the love of god! <laughs> I hate this! I'm stuck between floating and sinking and having no control over my faculties! Oh, I'm fricked. I am actually completely fricked and I have to redo it all. <sighs> okay, okay, please. So, I got to... Okay. All right, all right, please, 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 please. Maintain crawl, maintain crawl. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I mean, I am gonna have to redo this now, but the fact that I, I have this is good news, even if I still have to go back to where I was. And I guess we got to keep it rolling, that's good. Please, please. I am begging you to stop with what you are doing. I am simply, I am simply begging you to stop this. Oh, but I can go underneath. I can go underneath. Oh God, no, that's not working. Wait, 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 I can reverse, I can reverse course. Holy frick, maybe I can just reverse course all the way. Get over to the other side. Stay in, stay in rather than going out. Come on, come on. Oh, we're underneath, so it doesn't matter anyway. And then the whole idea was I just needed to get under the bottom here and then, and then float up under here, so I, I did everything, like, entirely unnecessarily. And I made it. Other than the part where I do have to get under there. Which means that I might have messed things up. Okay, yep, so, uh, did have to redo everything. This is infuriating, but I've also turned off um, toggle sprints, so that should make it a little bit easier to, like, break and place things. Toggle sprint was probably a mistake here. Uh, the question is that, like, I have to somehow uh, get underneath. So I have to, I have to get water in here. Like, that's the only way. How in the world do I get water in here? Is there something in, in this area? Is there something? No. And the problem is, like, I... Um... Wait, 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 wait. Wait. No, I can't... Wait. Hold on. Hold on. If I do this... Then maybe I can do the same sort of, uh... I do the same sort of, like, crawl thing, right? Are we... We're not... Wait. I don't know when I'm toggle sprinting and when I'm not! Okay, I'm toggle sprinting here, so... Nope, that's a crouch. <laughs> oh, it's so... it's so hard to, like, figure out when this is operating and when it isn't. God! There it is. There it is. Okay, now we can get these couple. And we can swim our way back out. And then the question is, do I use these to redirect this water flow? 
And I would, my assumption would be yes. So like this probably, right? Yes. And then just keep working at it. Let me through, let me through. I want a toggle sprint now. There we go. I'm gonna drown. Please give, give, give me what I need. This is the most infuriating puzzle. <laughs> uh. Like two more, and then we'll be good. Come on, is that it? Are we in? Are we in? Tell me we're in. Tell me we're in. Not in yet. Wait, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. Did I have to go higher up? Wait, 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 wait. You're kidding me. You are kidding me right now. Oh wait, no, 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 I just need to, I just need to do that and then we can extend it over, can't we? Just need to do this, right? There we, no, could, could you please, could you please reconsider what it is that you are doing? Please reconsider this. What is it that you think you're doing? Why would you do something so, so heinous? What are you doing? I don't understand. I don't understand what you're doing. What are you doing? This is the most infuriating thing of all time. Where's the block? Oh, I have it. Okay. So, um, <laughs> yes, I have to like, maybe I have to make my own. I have to make my own head hitter. Oh, I gotta like block clutch as I'm, wait, hold on. No, but that's too high. That's too high. So, I gotta do this. I gotta do... I gotta get it right. Frick. Right. Ah. No! That's wrong. But maybe I can still work with it. Can I still work with that? Maybe? Can I still work with this? Wait. No, I don't know if I can still work with... Wait. I can do that. And that, and then, but then the issue is like, can I retrieve this properly? Okay, okay, I can. Bro, if one of these does not fall into my inventory, I'm 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 done. I'm done. Man, I wanted to do it with water because I was so worried that this could be so easily fricked up. Yet here we are, I guess. I just make sure that I'm underneath the other one. I suppose I have like a, I have an extra because I have three. I have an extra just in case. I think now that we're over that, we're probably fine. Um, yeah, I think we're good now. Good thing we had a spare. Please tell me that is a spare and I don't need it later. Okay. Great. I have made it. I have made it and and um hopefully I'm not soft locked. Cuz that would be Oh, I that's so kind. It gave me the other redstone lamp. Cool. <sighs> All right. So what next then? Clearly I made that a little bit more difficult for myself, but it looks like another it's another um it's another fun time with water, folks. It's my favorite. My favorite thing is just bringing the water elsewhere. I love it. I love No, no. Oh, it's down. Oh, okay. It's retrievable, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Are you retrievable? Can I can I get you? You you really went far. You really went far. No. Okay, great. Great, great. Awesome. Why was that not a checkpoint? Okay, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna, we're gonna pretend that this was actually a checkpoint after that. what just happened there. We're gonna pretend that, that, that this room was a checkpoint, because, yeah, I thought it was. And, um, was thoroughly not having a good time for a moment there. Okay. What next? 
What next? We gotta we gotta presumably keep going. Forever. Nope, that's not it. And we gotta keep going. All uh, in a quest for a button or something like that? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I see you, I see you. I think we just we just gotta get into a crawl. Underneath there. And then we can get into whatever whatever this is. There we go. Now I want to toggle sprint again. Okay, so. Obviously, I can't bring the water too much further into here. So, it then begs the question, well, how do I get inside the... Oh, oh, up we go! Just kidding! <laughs> I hope I wasn't supposed to get in there. Huh. What? What in the world? Is that just there so that... When I inevitably screw up that part, I can go all the way back down and do it again. Oh my god! Okay, so I'm like, I'm wondering if I if I do this right, if I do that and just go over here, I don't think that there is a way. I think I'm just screwed. Like I can't actually get back down into the water now. I think the only way I can go is back around. But that said, like, do I? What if I do this? Okay, okay, so I can still keep this, and then I do have to cycle back around, but then I can stay in the water. Okay, so, we just stay in the water, just stay in the water, just stay in the water, and then we go over here. So, if I put that there, and then try to, like, go underneath, but I'm not, I'm not in a crawl. I'm not in a crawl, dude! I gotta put the thing in there, but the question is, can I even reach that from over here? Like, I don't want to go in and then get trapped. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. So we're good. So that allows me to get through. And then I assume I have to retrieve this. Oh. Down the hatch. So that opens up into somewhere. Is this a, a maze? Oh god, is this a maze and I'm gonna die? Wait, no, it's not. Oh god! Okay, at least that's up at the ceiling, but, um... We can do another water flow redirect. <laughs> Alright guys, let's redirect that water. Here we go again. I don't know if I'm in the right place. I don't know if the other place was the place that I was supposed to be at. Okay, stop toggle sprint. Stop toggle sprint. And then there. This is probably dumb because- Nope! Stop toggle sprint! There we go. And then balls. And then... Yeah, no, this- this isn't. That's not- Is this- is it what I'm- Wait, hold on. Is it what I am supposed to be? You know, wait, no, it's probably- I actually just wanna- I just wanna do- I do wanna be- I do wanna toggle sprint now! And I just gotta, I just gotta exit right at the top, and then I stay crawling. Yes. I do. What does that sign say? Does that sign say stop levitation? Water withdrawal gate. If I do this, do I lose? Wait, there's a glass on the other side there. Do I lose? I got a checkpoint! Oh my god, it's a checkpoint! Let's go! Oh, and then this is gonna allow me to... This leads some... Aha! Uh -huh, that leads somewhere. Okay. And we continue going down. Hey, I have no more... Oh god! Not a, not a maze! Not a maze! Not a maze! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here we are, here we are, here we are. I can up these. Let's hope I'm not making- oh, 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 probably over there, probably over there, exit, exit that way. It says, okay, follow the signs to the exit. It's an upper instead of a dropper. 
Oh, wait, there's a button over there. I hope I'm not missing anything. And we got more water. And there's glass. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake to break. I'm questioning everything at this point, honestly. Wait. There's simply no way that I am going to be given a water bucket. I I I don't buy that. I think what we're gonna get here instead is probably it's gotta be pressure plate plus iron, but the problem is I can't I can't put it down and get through. Even if I could put the pressure plate down there, I I would need to redirect the water in order to be able to get through the door. Um, let's see. Can I can I retrieve that? Do I want to go in a different direction here instead? There's many there's many signs and I can break them, but I have no idea how to retrieve them. And I did lock myself last time, so I have a bad feeling that if I get up here early, I am just locked. I don't think I can get those signs cuz I can't come down. Um Okay, so we have glass down there. We have, okay, so we have the iron ingots up here, right? Is there something that I can do with this, though? Wait, could I make the iron pressure plate and put it on top of the glass, and would that redirect the water flow rather than just breaking the pressure plates? I don't know what else to do. Oh, it does! Okay, it does, it does, it does. Can I recover the... Pressure plate? By oh, wait, I can recover the pressure plate by breaking the glass. That's why the glass is there, so that I can recover the pressure plate, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to mine it with my fist. It's starting to make so much sense, so my soft lock was... Mm, can I not break the glass? But yeah, okay, so my soft lock was... There we go. Breaking the glass. Not coming up the stairs. Cool. So that, then, might give me the ability to get the pressure plate down on the ground over here in front of the... God dang it. <sighs> it's gonna take a bit of time, everybody. Just bear with me. Just bear with me here. Okay. Come on. Let's go, Let's go down. Let's go down! <sighs> just wanna... Just also wanna mention to the to the people watching this right now, that I am currently now, while live, doing this, not being watched by one god, but two gods, so there's additional pressure that has suddenly been introduced, and, and, it's, it's problematic. Um, what's also problematic is, can I actually make it under there, from this corner, huh? Okay, here we go, here goes nothing, here goes nothing. Oh, yes he can! And I stole the iron. This is brilliant. Please tell me I didn't lock myself. Okay, wait, before I go through, before I go through, is there a way for me to retrieve? Hello, iron, I'd love to have you back, please. Nope. Don't think so. Hopefully I don't need it. Wait, what am I, am I in a swim? Nope, I'm in a crouch. Can I not be in a crouch? Not in a crouch anymore. Sweet. Okay. All right. What, do, oh. Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. I didn't frick up. <laughs> it's like, please tell me just uh, not looking up didn't just destroy me. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? I feel like I I made the right decision coming out of the, the chimney. But I also feel like there's a way that I can um, mess myself up here. And I'd rather not do that. I hope I haven't already messed myself up. Do I just keep going up and up and up and up and up and hope for the best? Tell me that I've not made mistakes so far. Okay, hold on, hold on, just keep looking up. If I go all the way up, am I doomed? There's not really much of an indicator as to where to go now. Am I supposed to get, if I'm supposed to get over there, I have already failed. Uh, maybe through there, maybe, maybe we go into whatever is over there. I'm just trying to, like, maybe go to the, instead of the full height, kind of the next spot each time, just in case even though I've probably already failed. I'm going to end up going and floating off into the upper atmosphere. And that's going to... Okay, so if I end up there... Wait, hold on. Oh! I think that is where I'm supposed to go. Okay, cool. Slime and Ender Chest escape room models 
Copyright 2022. Backup chamber items. Uh, that looks like a place where there's still water, which is very sad to me because I was thinking that maybe there was a world where I would stop levitating. But that is too much to ask. All right, I don't think an enchanted golden apple can really save me from levitation, to my knowledge. So, um, here we go. Let's hope I didn't descend too early, huh? Wait, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Does that allow me to pass back and forth? Okay, pass back and forth without issue. What does that say over there? Maybe you can run really fast. Like, like while levitating, you mean? <laughs> uh... I don't want to be levitating anymore. Do you guys think if I eat the gapple, I'll stop levitating? Because I don't know what else to do. I'm going to eat it. Now I'm levitating, but with style. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. So, what am I... What am I... What am I trying to do here? Mm, what's the... What's the play? Is there, like, a way that I can... I guess I can probably get into a crawl and use that in order to maybe get through the upper left over here. Hopefully I'm not in a crawl anymore when I exit here. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's do what we can do. Let's do what we can do before the gaffle runs out and I've learned that I've really messed up. Wait a second. Is this gonna be one of those? Stop crouching. Well, I recognize this place. I've seen this before. This is make the snow golem, and then the, the snow golem, like, yeets the slime back through the, the channel, and then I- but... Stop being crouched! Oh my god, this is so annoying. Oh, uh, there's- oh, I see there's an opening in the ceiling. God, all the blocks kind of- they blend together. Stop crouching, please. Wait, 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 before I exit, before I exit, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. There's something I'm supposed to- wait, let me break- uh, Is this a mistake? I don't know if I should break it. Also, it would take like 50 years to do it, so rather than do that. I do recognize this, though. Oh, I totally recognize everything here. Uh, uh, do I wanna- mm, Cause this one- this would like dispense slimes. Slimes would land on here, and we bring the- Yeah, 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 memories. Memories of another world. Do I go all the way up, or do I try to make it into- Let me- let me- rather than going all the way up, see if there's anything else. Yeah, it's the maze of the- Oh, I totally remember all this. Sorry, it was a previous escape map. Um, that- that was posted a while ago. If you're wondering what in the world I'm talking about. Oh, and this is the place where we had to construct the lava, uh, traversal things and stuff. Like the- yeah, 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 and then like- and then use them to go across the lava with the slime machines and all that stuff. Remember. Okay, here's probably why I need the gapple so I can go through here without dying. We may still be on the clock, but it's still a good amount of time left. Uh, wait. Or, oh, wait. Do I want to be going up or do I want to be going down? Oh, God. Um, wait, is one of the, hold on, hold on. Is one of these like open or something to be able to, yeah, it is, yeah, it is, yeah, it is. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, never mind. Uh, not necessarily generously on the clock any longer. This is kind of an urgent matter. Please go down. Please, please go down faster than you're already going. Please, please quick. Please make haste. Please be faster. I, there's no need to be so slow right now. Oh, God. How much time do I have left? I have a minute and 30 seconds until death sets in. Okay, here we go. And careful, careful, careful. Oh, God, and if I overshoot instead of entering the tunnel, that's going to be really sad. And up we go. Okay. Like a minute left here. Go through. Go through. Go, 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 go. Okay. I didn't miss the tunnel. Everything is good. I hope I didn't have to stay in the lava. Oh, Jesus. I hope I hope I am done with the need for fire resistance portion of the event. <laughs> uh, nope. Nope, I'm not. I'm not. I still need fire resistance. <laughs> oh, God. Wait. Oh, no. Hold on. Is this not where I need to go? 
Wait, is it down lower? Um, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, no. Oh no. Oh no. This is just a decoy. Or is it? No, it's not a decoy. I just need to. I must have to go down that tunnel. I gotta go down and then get in the lava again. And then go. I have to go down one of the tunnels. But which of the tunnels? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Is it this one? Oh, maybe it's just this part right here. The one that stands out versus the rest. Oh, God. No! I'm fricked. I am fricked. I am fricked. There's no way. There is no way. I, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. It's over, boys. It's over. It's, it's over. It's... It's over, mate. <laughs> All right. Um, we return this time with just such a great deal much more time, so much more that I don't even want to check because I don't want to waste the time that it would take to go into my inventory in order to check. The funny part, it's going to be funny when this is actually just the last step of the whole thing and there is no more lava after this and I, I that's all I had to do was just not fail this part and I would have been fine. I'm really prepared for that to be exactly what's going on here and it probably is. Is it? Oh yeah, it totally is. That was that was the last thing. It's good. At least I'm not being hurt by the uh checkpoint. <laughs> Why is this always how it happens? This is always what happens to me, man. Is that I I I fail, I frick up like just just uh oh, it's fourth and goal and I I cannot just I can't complete it. I can't do it. It doesn't happen. All right. At least we're checkpointed. That's exciting. Um can I get through? I can get through there. That seems to be kind of the only place to do it. What I don't know is if I am floating for the rest of my existence here. I I tend to think that I am. <laughs> that that this is the rest of my life is in a constant state of flotation or swimming or lavaing. Um Anything down here? No. None whatsoever. So it's got to be up and over there. Or maybe it isn't. Knowing my luck, I've already missed something. Oh, God. Did I want to go? Oh, wait. No, this is actually fine. What are what are all this? What is everything that is happening here? What do we have? We have a lot of hoppers. Any, uh, any good stuff? Any good stuff in any of you? Hello? Anvils. All right. That's great. We got some glass over here. Very, very pretty and rainbowy, even though I can't actually do anything with it, I don't think. And even if I could, is there, like, anything on top that wants to drop? Like, is there an anvil on top of the glass? I actually just simply can't tell. Uh, I suppose I can just go over here and see what's up. Oh, yeah, okay, so there is an anvil on top of the glass. It also has arrows pointing in that direction. Like, I could... Do I want to drop the anvil, though, is the question. Is there a reason to drop the anvil that would d do things if it went down to the bottom? Got no idea. What do all these blocks do? Uh, I feel like there's got to be, like, something inside one of them that will... Ha there we go. Bring forth the sea. You say bring forth the sea, but you do not give me loyalty, so I only get one t one try? Only one try at this? Okay, I'm gonna see if I were to just bring the anvil, like maybe it's a combination lock, right? Like I, I break through here, and the anvil joins its brethren. And then, this has done nothing for me. Okay, cool. Um, maybe it was supposed to be like a strength test, where I was supposed to actually have the thing go all the way to the bottom, or something like that, and I've probably already messed it up if that's the case, because I haven't given it its full, full momentum, which is just swell, but here goes nothing. that do anything? No. So I'm, I'm currently just thinking about what I could do with that anvil in order to in order to get into these crawling tunnels but in the while i am thinking i might as well make some progress at the brute forcing method right i might as well just do this and then i can simultaneously still though just be thinking about okay 
how could I alternatively do this? I'm thinking, yeah, I could use the anvil to crush myself into a crawl. But even if I use the anvil to crush myself, I'm still presented with the hoppers being in my way. So, um, I'm really committed at this point. I've invested a lot of time into making this happen. So, I don't know, though. Like, okay, if I were to, say, like, drop the anvil right here, and say I'm, like, borderline, right? What happens now? I am now still just floating. I don't think the anvil has really helped me in my pursuit of greatness here, so... Given that I still haven't figured out how I would do this otherwise, I think I have actually saved time here. So, I think we're doing great. Half. Raw iron, half. This is two out of eight. Bring forth the sea. Okay, so the next step, obviously, is break the anvils. Um, and, uh, yeah, basically do the same thing in order to get into the next area. And then I gotta, like... Think, is there a place where I can grow the sapling? Put it down somehow? Anyway, regardless, I gotta I gotta go back. Okay. Alright, here we go. Here we oh, this one's gonna suck a little bit more. Guys, we've we've made a revolutionary discovery here. I was kind of thinking back to the bell one where I was like crawling through the bells through the lava. But then I didn't really think that there was gonna be a way to do that here. But it turns out there may actually be a way to do that here. Which is super exciting. The only issue is if I... Okay, so hold on. Does that mean I probably need to do this first so that I can maintain the crawl owl? And then we can go all the way around. Oh my goodness. That's so cool. The gods have become pleased. Three out of eight. Okay. Um, so that makes me think that I, I am actually, in fact, done here. Maybe, except it just makes me all the more terrified that I, I, um, I'm going to softlock and it's going to be excruciatingly painful because I've now invested such a great deal of time into what I've currently done. I'm wondering if, because we've dropped the anvil to the bottom and nothing happened at all. But there got to be a reason why the glass extends all the way to the bottom. Sorry, I got a hint that there's still more I need to do with the anvils and stuff like that. I'm just like, am I going to soft lock myself? But hey, I'm standing on ground now. So if I do that, is there like, I wonder if that does anything to make things more clear for me. I'm too scared to do anything because I think anything that I do at this point is going to lock me and I'm going to have to redo everything. So, <laughs> so it's like actually working against me. Um, but I think what I can probably do is this, do that, God too has rejoined, um, and then perhaps do this, and then maybe this will work for me, and then I can do that, and then I can go under here, and then I can get the things. Yes, I have them both. Okay, cool. And uh, and supposedly I have not softlocked myself. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is great news, everybody. Very, very great news. Okay, so from here we got a we got a pressure plate, pressure plate time, yeah. Okay, not you. Oh god, stop, stop crouching. All right, so um, yeah, yeah. Here we go, and then um, and then, aha! It does, it does happen, it does happen. But then the question is, <laughs> do I use the trident? Or do I do this? And even so, w even so, if I do that, wait, there's a thing over here. Should I have done something with that? Even so, if I yeet this and open this up, does it even, like, help me out at all? Which item should I use for this? I feel like the trident is the probably the one I should hang on to, but also I would be the most accurate, but also it has... Oh, my God. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did that open up from the... That opened up from the other side, didn't it? And I'm in crouch. 
<laughs> Once again, my life is ruined. Okay, so I can get back from over there. Slowly but surely, very slowly but surely. So this allows me to stay on the floor-ish over here, giving me the ability to do what? Oh, to get underneath here. God dang it. Now I have to do it again. I can't tell if that is designed to be a very, very close get such that you're supposed to not be able to get in or such that it's just supposed to, you are, yes, okay, you are supposed to be able to get in, good. I think an entity has to be standing on those, so that's not gonna help me. Um, so let's follow this up and see where it goes, which is, wait, am I back? Oh, I'm back in here, oh, how fun, how interest, oh, hello. Um, okay, so I can get under there. But, um, the anvil went away. Huh. Huh. Oh. Oh, God. Wait. The anvil went away. That's not... How am I supposed to get through there if the anvil is gone? Oh! Hello! Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let's see what else do we have. Is there... Oh, yeah, we have the smoker above us. I just cannot leave here. Half. Wait. Half? Half. Do we need to get, like, more iron blocks? Wait, is there a way that I can smelt something somehow? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got things in here. Uh, I'm not in a crawl, though, so I definitely... Oh, wait, no, it says, th it says arrows to that way, so I'm probably not supposed to... Get in there, yeah. Oh, that's the that's gonna be on the other side from here, so I have to get in that way. Can you smelt like wit you can't smelt with rabbits too? Okay, I was trying to I was like thinking, is there a way that I can get I mean, even if I could get another pressure plate, I don't know how it would have helped me. Okay. So have I just been dumb the whole time and I can do that, and then I can <laughs> The hope is that I don't have to do all all four at once, right? Because I'm not gonna be able to do all four at once. It's simply not gonna happen. Does it let you do So, 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 yeah, I had a, I had a feeling that that <laughs> that wasn't going to be enough to do a full smelt. But then I realized, okay, so half and a half, I have to, but, but I need to, I need to be able to eat this. I need to be able to eat this so that I can get the bowl, so that I can actually use the bowl. How do I eat? I'm not hungry. I want to be hungry. Please let me be hungry. Please tell me that this will make me hungry. Please. I'm begging you. Pretty please. This isn't, this isn't working. This isn't working. Wait, 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 wait. Please become hungry. Please become hungry. I see that food shaking. Wait, wait, I gotta, I gotta press and hold. There's some, there's some command that's freaking, yep. I had to beat the command. God! I had to beat the command for it to allow me to eat because it is auto-filling my food bar. This is just rude. Okay, so we gotta do that first, and then we gotta be ready. Ready on the bowl. Okay, there it is. Now it happens. Now it happens. And that is another pressure plate for us. Or shears. God, what if it's actually shears? Frick it, dude. Making the heavy pressure plate and... Can I stack pressure plates on top of each other? Like, is that a thing that you can actually do? Put pressure plates on anvils, the pressure plates on pressure plates. I don't know if it actually works, but it's worth a try. And if it doesn't work, then hey, what's the worst I could have gone and done? Soft blocked myself yet again. So what if we go heavy, probably the wrong order, and then light. It doesn't work that way. Did it have to be light and then heavy? Or did I simply get the whole god dang thing wrong? Okay. Okay. I've, I, I have received a hint that I should not be focusing on opening it from the outside, but rather the inside. Which thus begs the question, how... Because even if I could set the pressure plate down in there, 
How do I get the signal into it? Why did I even need the two pressure plates at the end of the day? Why did I, why did I even need them? I don't, un I don't understand. I don't understand. So if I were to like go over here and I were to try to click down, it's just freaking hitbox fun time. I could put the pressure plate there and then one wrong move on the pressure plate placement and I'm, I'm dead again. So here's what I'm thinking. Like I could put the pressure plate first one down here. I don't know if the order matters or the order matters. I'm fricked. Like 99% of the options that I can undertake, I'm fricked. 1% is the correct answer. I can put a pressure plate down there, and I can probably do, like, some finicky little little edge placement, and it'll place it next to it, which would be great, I suppose. But then the, the question becomes, like, what, do I just, do I just yeet the, the iron and, and hope it lands? <laughs> I guess I do. I guess I do. Here we go. Here's that. And then, uh, just, yeah, frick. <laughs> it's freaking frustrating, man. And go. Ah! Eventually, when I go back and forth enough, I will get it. Yeah. I think that worked. And then, yeah, it's next to it. And then the last, but not least, ball sacks. Yeah. Where? No, it merged with the last, but not least. My final attempt. Does the trident count? I must aim true. It opened! I can get it back now, I think. Please tell me I can get it back. Give me, thank you. I need the iron! Actually, I can get it, I can get it, I can get it because I can just come over here and then I can retrieve the stuff, right? Yes. I can get the end rod and the pressure plate and then I can just retrieve the pressure plate but not the glass, but I do get the end rod, which is probably a good thing. And we get another end rod over here. Oh, wait. This is our saving grace to be able to access like everything else, or at least one of the doors. I know one of the doors that had two elevated eyeballs, and so we can put the end rods down, put the pressure plates on top, and then we can activate them both and be happy. Okay, so over here, it was this one, yes? Okay, cool. Whew, all right, so it should be boom, boom, boom. Boom, and then I guess we just do, can I activate, like, wait, oh, no, I can just use the trident again, right? Let's freaking go! Now, the question is, do I retrieve these properly? Yes. And, please don't fall. Um, I am snail speed. I must go faster. Okay, now it feels like we are cooking. Please stop being slow. Oh, my God. Okay, there we go. So, there is a shulky box back there. Um, oh, so we're, ah, uh, I see, I see what's happening here. So we are operating that from this side. Is there even a way for me to get in there? I don't think, right? Okay, so I think I could do, trigger the pressure plate. Could I trigger the pressure plate by throwing the trident at it? And if I do, am I going to regret it or am I gonna be okay? Hopefully I'm okay. I am okay. Okay. Wait. My my trident. My trident is gone. Oh god. Okay. Um maybe maybe we have another opportunity to uh, work our way in from here to the other side like very rapidly. Yeah, balls. Maybe the idea is you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. Mm, god, is that even an idea though? Like, if I do this, right, will that allow me to get underneath? God, I'm crawling again! All right, here we go, here we go. See, the problem is I don't actually know if, even if I get trapped under there. Yeah, no, that's that's an issue. It doesn't work. What if we try another approach here like that, like that? I didn't, I'm just like, is that going to work? Is that going to work? I need to get back. I'm going to have to go back over this way again. So, yeah, no, I can't. I can't do that because it's lower now, so how, it doesn't help. But, okay, wait, 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 idea, idea, idea. I put another end rod off of that. We utilize both end rods, and then we just pray. We we pray that we collect them. This should be enough, right? This should be enough. It is enough. Now, please, please collect. Please collect. You're such an idiot! 
Maybe you just do it from here. Maybe you just... Okay, I can just do it from there rather than having to take another trip around the sun. Um, yes! You've gone and done it! You're beautiful! Okay, now, please, please collect. Please collect. Please collect. Thank you! Okay. So we're in. We are in, baby. Let's go. Uh, however, now... Um, I assume I need to do a similar thing here, probably, to, like, work my way across, uh, in order to access whatever the frick is in there. Um, right, so, I mean, this is the only way, right? I gotta do that, I gotta do that, and then we gotta just, oh, wait a second, wait, 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 I think I've, I think I've actually, uh, I think I've ruined my life. Wait, here, can I do this? I can do this. Oh, that was so clutch. That was so clutch. Now, if you don't hand to me, though, then we're going to have a problem. And then, oh my god, we got more end rods. That's six, and it's just called a solid block. Cool. That helps us in some way, I'm sure. Uh, and then... Okay, so clearly, like, we actually do have to get in there. But in order to do so... Oh my god, don't tell me this is, like, the same thing as that room where we had to use the end rods and the trapdoor to crawl, but now I have to do it using the water to get into the crawl, and then I have to shimmy my way over while I'm in a crawl in order to get through there. Yeah, I can't reach that. I have to get in there with a crawl, which is just psychotic. Absolutely psychotic. Okay, so I've perceived it hints that I should not actually be focusing on doing the the extremely tedious thing that was going to ruin my life and instead I should uh, make a return over to the anvil room and I that that pressure plate that's over there it had caught my eye before but there was simply no way to access it however now I do think there's a way to access it probably maybe hopefully fingers crossed because if I break an end rod and it doesn't come back to me then we might be in trouble Yes, okay. And then, like, we can just, you know, bridge the gap. I don't know. I'm going to just do this, and uh, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. I guess we have some leeway, right, if I do screw up um, that I have extra. I'm going to just try to do it with two so that... You know, if a mess up happens, we still have plenty more rather than just risking having a really bad time. Do this, then we just get all the way over there with it and see how it goes, and then maybe retrieve that one later. I don't know. And then from here, start getting towards the pressure plate. What are you doing? Why are you over there? Uh, <laughs> Why did you go there? Okay, I think I probably need to get that back. Probably need to get I don't know if I need to get the other one back, but please hand yourself to me. Thank you. Okay, that's that's at least a little bit of good news. It's taken place for us. Um, and then... All right, I need to... Normally, I'd just be able to, like, float myself back up, but I do really want to retrieve that just in case so I we, we got it we got it we got it we got it and I got that okay good then uh, okay hmm. the question is how important are you I'm gonna I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna wait until uh, that becomes essential to worry about it or maybe I've soft locked myself and and <laughs> everything is not good so I gotta do another fun <laughs> Another fun time of, of building around here in order to stay at least low enough to be able to place the pressure plates down. So I think, I think I'm okay just doing that, probably. If I've messed up, it's going to be not fun, but I think I'll be in range. I'm pretty sure I'll be in range. So I've been informed that, that I don't... I don't actually need to do anything of what I'm doing here, and that if I if I set the pressure plates down and activate them from this side, it, it won't actually work. Great. I I thought I thought that um this makes it ten times easier, which is cool, but I actually kinda thought that 
this would be problematic. But I guess it's not problematic. I guess that I can just do this. And then can I can I single-handedly activate all three? No, I can't. But we can do this and just get them. Nope. Not, oh, they've, oh God, they're all gonna merge together, aren't they? They're all gonna merge together and I'm gonna not be happy. God dang it. Uh, I'm gonna have to do it with three different things. One, two, please go where I need you to. Two, and I'm drowning, and three. No, I have to be on the third one, because it's a stone. Ah, oh, I gotta be fast. Go! Okay, it opened. Thank goodness. Do I have to just sacrifice the pressure plates now? Am I done with them? Am I am I done with them? Is that it? Well, here goes nothing. I just don't like this part. I just don't like this part. This is not. It's not nice. It's very not nice. It's very not nice of you to do this to me. But like, I guess there's no other way to get them. So let's get an even water flow, and then we'll use that even water flow to do what we have to do in here. Okay. So next up, I think the idea is. We remain in the crawl. We just go full the ultra, we go full ultra tedium, except that, like, I have to freaking, uh, this is gonna be nuts, dude. This is gonna be absolutely nuts. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up getting, I'm gonna end up getting to the end here, probably. And then I'm gonna fail it. Okay, so I am crawling, and now I assume if I go half a block, I'm still gonna be crawling. And now the thing is, I have to, I have to always retrieve this. I have to always successfully retrieve it. And then I gotta go up the next half block. And then I'm still gonna be crawling. I'm still gonna be crawling. And then I, got, and then I gotta go. Okay, it's actually, it's actually working. It's not, not completely failing. It's good news. And I can get you. Okay, and we're still, yep, yeah, we're still crawling. It's great. Okay. And then I could go diagonal, but I don't know if it's worth, it's not worth the risk. I've come this far. Um, and then get in there. Still crawling. Good. Who would have thought you could do the inverse gravity frog light end rod crawl? Crazy. Crazy. Okay, there we go. At least I did it from the right distance, um, which is good news. Okay. And then, boom, and then, oh my god, oh my god, we made it in! Oh, you really do be crawling. Okay, we just gotta just break it, I guess. Slowly. Just very slowly. And then get it into a place where I can actually open it. Or maybe there's nothing inside of it. Oh, anvil times seven and hopper times eight. Huh. Interesting. You... Oh. Hope I didn't need that! Oh, I didn't need that, because we ain't getting it. Not now, not today. Nope, 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 no siree. Okay, so we're using the anvils and the hoppers in order to crawl into another area using their wonky hitbox, clearly. But the question is, which area am I trying to crawl into? Um, there's that area there. Would it, be, would it be that? Would it be that? Do I want to go around to the corner? That's my assumption is it's to get over there, and I hope I don't need the end rods for it. Otherwise, I've I've just failed again. First, we can just do... We want to make sure it's not in the way. Do... We'll do some... I guess we'll just grab the anvils, grab the hoppers, and then maybe I should just give this back to myself. All right, you're going to give it back to me. Thank you. And then we got to stay in a crawl for this. Well, I guess I could have just started to place things down. Oh, I also have to... Orientation is more important. Actually, wait. Oh, God. If I do it with the wrong orientation, that's... I think this is correct, though. Or maybe I start with the hopper so I can get the anvil down around the corner. Let's try this. Let's try this. That does let me through. Yes. Okay. And then we can keep doing this all the way over. Man, imagine if I'm using, like, the wrong block here or something. It's going to be really, really annoying. Uh, anvil? Anvil, I mean, hopper? Hopper. 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 And we gotta, we gotta move to, uh, we gotta move to anvil here. And they merge, they merge, they merge, they merge, right? Did I do it in the wrong order? And it needed to be, I swear to, okay, no, 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 we're good. I was like, oh, they needed to be in a different order. Uh, I was... 
That's very mean. That's very mean to do. This is incredibly extreme. Now I have to go all the way back around. Ah! Okay, um, I, I was informed that I did, in fact, uh, softlock myself because I, I was given... Not j instead of just like getting to this point and it's like, just have hoppers so you can do it. It's like, no, 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 no. Gotta introduce another element of you having to choose the correct block in the correct spot. So, so, I used the, the, the hoppers. It was, it couldn't, it was bad. It was bad. I need to switch to the anvils. I need to switch to the anvils. Use the anvils on the straightaway. Because otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to get around the corner and actually access the pressure plate. So, now we get to the corner and now I can use the hopper in order to kind of like go around it right and and maybe enter the the place hold on hold on go back go back gotta gotta do that and then i could go around and now aha ah, everything's fine uh my blood pressure is not at unsafe levels i'm sure i haven't actually tested but i'm sure uh, am I just going up? I'm afraid to- I'm afraid to do anything at this point. I'm truly just afraid to do anything. But maybe I should just risk it and go up. But I think anything I can possibly do at this point is wrong, and I'm doomed. I'm just gonna go up now, though. Okay, so we have TNT. We have a log. We have log, 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 TNT. And wool. I don't know if I can get that wool. Problematically, um, I'm gonna I'm just get the wood first. I am stuck up here. So unless I've made a mistake again I have everything I need in order to do what I have to do Up here probably hopefully maybe I just have no idea But there isn't a way for me to get into a crawl at the moment because I don't have water because I'd never be given a water bucket because that would just break everything in a good way in my favor Um. And, uh, okay, so, I can try to, I can try to get this, but I have a feeling it's not gonna work. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, it's not going well. But, I can do that, and then I can do this, and then I can hope that the next one, you know, comes to me instead, right? It's not. But, eventually... Eventually, I should just do this with TNT, probably, at least alternating, because it'll be much faster to... There we go. Okay, we've got them all. Well, I have things that I can make now. I could even make a crafting table if I wanted to. Um, the question is, like, what even... What even do up here? What even do... I have no idea what else to do, so I'm just going to softlock myself. Um, which one should I use? Let's use the uh, let's use the anvil. Maybe I'll get the anvil back though. There we go. Hmm. That had just about the expected outcome, but we did just we did hit a we hit a checkpoint. So. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Turns out I had a lot of extraneous... Oh, hey! 8 out of 8! No, oh, that's so much easier now to be able to... Got it. Break the things. This is good news, though. It turns out I didn't even need any of the additional... Um, yeah, end rods or anything like that. So, alright. So, yeah, so I'm wondering, like... Alright, alright, all right. So, this makes life so much easier. This is so cool. Alright. I, I had to I had to take a hint here Just the first time I've ever taken a hint which which is that my goal is to remove levitation here apparently and I'm like okay well I can drink milk well there's no cows here so I'm like well I could just die apparently I die on purpose it's not okay it's not something I ever would have it's not something I ever would have arrived at I just never would have arrived at that um, okay. I guess the issue is here, like, am I actually going to... Am I going to die if I stand close enough to the TNT? The trick might be, how do I get close enough to the TNT to where it will kill me in one hit or something like that? But anyway, let's try this again. Maybe I was actually onto something before. But why would dying be the freaking answer? 
Okay. Nope. I'm gonna do this, and then I can stand inside of the TNT, and it's gonna... Oops, looks like you obstructed your spawn point and then died. If you did this on accident... Trigger reset. If you did this intentionally, please contemplate your sins and then run. Trigger reset. <sighs> I have an idea. I have an idea. And that idea is to kind of do what I did, but <coughs> place a bed in here first. And that's why the wool is here. It's so that it like kind of, um, yeah. The wool, the, it, it's here to kind of push me in the direction that I've, I've elected to just not follow so far. But that's fine. So what I need to do then is I need to make sure, okay, so if I do this, I still have six planks. If I do this, I still have four, which is enough for a bed. So I make the sword, right? And then I have to collect all the cobwebs and not lose the uh, please oh, I need eight I need eight which is one two three four five I need to collect all of these and none of them can drop and if they drop it's again I thought we weren't relying on RNG but I feel like there's a slight RNG element here where if I miss one of these then it's fricked but thingies crossed okay good 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 and last but not least oh my god I got them all Okay, I just wouldn't have thought to like purposely die. I never would have, never would have considered the the intentional demise scenario. I also don't think I can sleep in there. I don't think that'll work. I think that we'll just consider it to be obstructed. So instead, I guess we'll just do it here. We'll just do it here and then do that and then put the bed down. Okay, great. Wait, no, is that great? Oh, I might have, I might have completely bungled, I might have bungled everything because now the problem is I can't die. Instead of being an idiot, use the crafting table as one of the bed placement things. I feel like I'm in, I'm in like Doctor Strange. There's like 10 billion possible timelines and only one of them is the correct one and I'm, I have to find it. God, I hope that's, I hope I'm still okay here. Please tell me I'm gonna be okay. I'd like to be okay. I'd really like to be okay here. So we do this. Okay, good. We have the button left. That can be used to set off the TNT. We, we place the bed here. Good, brilliant. And then we come over to the other side because we definitely don't want the bed to blow up. <laughs> so good, so helpful. Oh god, wait, if I'm in a crawl, am I not gonna be in the TNT if the TNT falls down? Oh wait, no, actually this works, this works for me. You know what, I think this does work. Because I can do that, and then I can do this, I can put the button down, and I can actually just crawl straight inside the TNT. Because I'm crawled. I'd say I want to die, but I already did. Okay, so this time, surely if I do that, and then I do that, then it will work. Great, great. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna, and then please, if it doesn't work this time, I just, I don't know. <laughs> oh, do I not have normal levitation anymore? Oh my God. <sighs> Everything is good now in the world. Everything is just great. It's such a good, such a great place to be. It's such an amazing, okay, bye. Amazing time to be alive. Incredible. Okay, bye. Okay, guys. Um, Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to go down and not die to fall damage. Because if I die to fall damage, boy, won't that be fun. Huh. <sighs> I, mean, I don't know if we need all this stuff, but we may as well collect whatever we can. Get the frog light. And, uh, button. Continuing along. Just don't die of fall damage, please. It feels good to be able to walk. Levitation is a curse. Bring forth the sea, huh? 
That's, uh, emergency airlock manual trigger two requires level 15 power. Now, my assumption here is it's got to be both of them activated at the same time, probably, unless I can just... Got it. It requires a dual... Dual activation system. I... Need to... Get myself... Um... Thank goodness, I was not going to be in a good place if there were no accessible string. <laughs> I was going to be in a very bad place, other than the part where I'm still in a pretty bad place because I don't actually, don't know how to get an arrow at all. Um, but, but that's okay. We can check down the hallway. I feel like if I put an arrow into one button and then run over to the other, then we'll be good. But I do need to find flint or something. Oh, wait, is this where I came down? Um, hold on, maybe I use the crafting table here. Hope it doesn't light on fire, because then uh, it's not gonna be, not gonna be a good time. I also can't do that. Ah, I have no idea if that's where I'm actually supposed to be going, or if, I mean, it, it, it just, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna take that, that thing where I just died with lava. And we're going to put it to use here, and it's definitely going to be easy to do, and uh, repeatable, replicable. And... <laughs> okay, so I come over here, right, and I basically begin, I begin to incinerate, intentionally. Begin to incinerate. I don't, like, that. don't know if I'm going to have too much regen now. I have too much regen now. I think. No, wait, maybe I don't have an, I don't have the regen. Okay. I have to wait until I'm on half a heart. God dang it! And now it's probably gonna be like too much and and uh Okay. Is that enough? Uh, I gotta go, I gotta go. Is that too much? Oh, is it too much? Wrong side! Uh, there's no world in which I'm going to get the angle correct and hit the button in time. Probably just do this. Cool. And do that. Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah, like maybe. Okay. Oh, I got two instances. Wait, but maybe I get good regen. God. Di I've crashed. Go fast. Go fast. Go fast. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude, how do you possibly, how do you possibly hit the button, die, and hit the other button within the amount of time? Go fast, go fast, come on. Come on, no! I've received a tip, which is I'm trying to set up the bed so that when I respawn, I'm on the button. And I just, I just flick down really quickly. At least I've now determined it's four ticks of lava and then that should be good. One, two, three, four. And then we run for it, then we run for it. Even though now that is not working. Why is that not working? Why is four, tick, is four ticks of lava before? But it's decided to change on me. I don't know why exactly, but it has. Three, four. There we go. That looks better. This is it. This is it. This is it. Come on, come on. I still have to get this timing right, though, too. God, it took an extra tick to kill me. Come on, come on, come on. Just need to like spam the button. Oh my god, it worked! Warning intense pressure detected! Oh. In case of flood, stare directly at flood. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna look at it now. Here it comes! Woo! Oh my goodness. 
What's next? What's next? Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Oh god. Oh god. That is a lot of pressure. Wait, that's a- that's a whole lot of pressure. It says go there. Arrow? Wait, there's an arrow. Please don't die! I see a platform. I see a platform. I'm going to it, or is that the sun? No, there is a platform. Oh, you're kidding me right now. Oh, you're kidding me. If I die before the top, it's going to be very upsetting. Hmm. Exciting news, everybody. I am actually able to uh, get some air in here, and um, hopefully that will enable me to go out. Please. Up, up, up and away. I don't know if it's enough. I think I actually needed to be out. I just one shot, one opportunity, and I'm dead. Maybe you just move the bed a little bit closer. That's that's the way. That's the way. Just move the bed. Move the bed, and then we're gonna. Then it'll be everything. It'll be fine. Just move the bed up to the top. This is how we escape. Just continue to die. Actually, I can just re up my air. That's the way. Perfect. Okay. Uh, am I going the right way? Yes. Now I should be able to make it. I mean, I think I'm going to start dying, but I should have enough health. Whew. You think about it, you really cannot hold your breath very long. I feel like, you know, for all the weight that Minecraft Steve can carry, boy, can I out breath hold. <sighs> Merry Crimbus, everybody. A diamond sword, a cake, a book and a quilt, an oak sapling. And is this uh, a survival island? Feels like it took you 13 years to get here. <laughs> wow, I started this map when I started YouTube. Congratulations! I didn't think a 3x3 box was that hard to escape. Credits, production, level design programming, Canadian level design, glitch hunting, Watto, resource back and decoration, Coriolis, playtesters, Canadian Watto, Milani, Maximum Voided Star, Osmi, Coriolis, Doctor, Hukobi, Nova, Wifeys, and... I'm, um... I'm permanently stuck now on a survival island, and, uh, it's okay, though. We'll have more wood in just a moment. And we have cake. What more could you ask for? Um, okay, well, that is, I, I wasn't, I had to receive confirmation that that was actually officially the ending and there wasn't another puzzle on the raft for me to, I don't know, blast into outer space or something like that. But the tree has grown, which is cool. Um, so, yeah, you thank play you some guys. Skyblock now. Thank you, water, <laughs> water block, I guess, water world. Um, yeah. <laughs> thank you guys for making this along with everybody who tested it. It was definitely uh, the most extravagant escape experience I have had. So I can't Woo. imagine the amount of time and uh, just I don't know where you get the ideas. Like, very impressive. So thank you. You're um, welcome. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> yeah, and I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, link, I'll link your channels and stuff in the description if you guys are interested. And uh, that's it. See you next time.